Welcome uh, back, everybody, <laughs> to Goblet of Warlords or the Goblet. How are you doing? We've had some major technical difficulties tonight. Somebody got kept getting disconnected from the call, then somebody's audio stopped working. That was a whole shit show. But uh, we're back. Episode 13 of Order to Goblet. Um, yeah. Uh, announcements are the giveaways are good. I uh, People have won. I reached out. Got uh, addresses. So I'll get those in the mail at some point during this week. Um, uh, Dragonlance for the next two weeks will be on Thursdays because scheduling uh, with some players and trying to get that least somewhere close to a good <laughs> point before i start my transfer to uh california so uh yeah um if you're watching on youtube please like and subscribe leave a comment down below what your favorite part is and uh if you don't want to leave a comment leave your favorite emoji you know engagement and speaking of youtube uh order to black order is uh coming to youtube exclusive so right now we're trying to I have a poll going for Sunday if we're going to have our first episode. Uh, but it is the Super Bowl Sunday. I'm trying to figure out if they want to. I'm still waiting on art. But I uh, did the overlays yesterday for my stream anniversary. So got those knocked out out of the way. So with that being said, we're already getting a late start tonight. So uh, JR, real quick. Real quick. Uh, JR the Nerd, come check me out. We have games on tomorrow, actually, is going to be the start of our finale uh episodes of maiden's mayhem uh sunday is we do uh boba boba badlands and then every other saturday we are kicking back up hawak until we kick off uh tomb of annihilation probably in march or april or something so. and uh silver i don't know when i'll be back streaming it's been hectic and it's, it seems to be getting crazier so it's up in there right now all right well that being said grab your goblet sit back relax and enjoy the show And welcome back. Fane rolled the lowest finally. And uh, she, she gets to do recap in the finally. eyes of Fane. Huh. I've got to write down y'all's out of combat initiatives. So, oh, well. Hopefully, y'all grown ups and talk amongst yourselves. Uh, wait, are we, are we talking amongst ourselves or is Fane praying? Go ahead, Fane. I, 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 I was just saying, I forgot to write down your out of combat initiatives. <clears throat> I'll, I'll reping them to you. I mean, I haven't written them. I'll write them down during her uh, recap. How about that? Um, hi, so take your time. Orc God Tozak. I wanted to let you know that I am getting stronger. Like, in the last hour, we finished killing some spy assassin people, and we got their cart. 
Um, inside, there was a kid and some tied up guy. Also, Prue is really strong. Um, I think she's my new tribe's champion, but the others still need a bit of convincing. Uh, they're not as sm smart as I am when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, oh, um, Miss Silfrena, you'll be glad to hear that Prue and I took care of the new orphan that we met, that we found. Um, she kept crying and trying to bite Prue, but we took good care of her. Uh, we didn't even bite her back or anything. Um, Prue held her arms and I held her legs so she could calm down safely. And then some stranger magicked her away. But she seemed strong enough to take care of the kid. So that's all good. Um, actually, I might need to... You guys probably heard of each other, but I don't know if you've ever been in the same prayer meeting room head. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's Miss Silfrena. She's good at peace and stuff, and that's or God Tozak. He's super strong and is good at fighting and being angry and being strong. Um, oh, or God Tozak. My new tribe is getting really strong too. Like even our babysitter picked a fight with like 13 guards. And I mean, he needed me to save him, but he hit them all pretty okay-ish. But yeah. Uh, we fought the guards, and and we still won super easy, and Glitch even melted a guy. Um, but Miss Silfrena, it was in a peaceful way. Um, after we won, we met Sir Mr. The Honorable. He knows people that do stuff. Um, babysitter Sam made a magic bubble out of everyone's ancestors, and they all had a meeting while I kept watch. Um... I think my new tribe is going to join Mr. The Honorable's friends and do stuff. Uh, but for now, I just got shot, which I probably should have started with. But I can't die anymore, so we'll be fine. <clears throat> you hearing your head fade after that? I don't think it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of voice just said that? Because I've got. I'm joking. That was that didn't actually happen. That was a joke. <laughs> As your friends are having a discussion, let's go ahead and go to the scene so everybody can see the same thing. Uh, you have pulled your carts on the other side of the cliffside, or these carts, um, and as your friends. Your new tribe were having a conversation inside the Liam's tiny hut. Um, you're sitting there, and I don't remember exactly what you said, but you felt a sting as an arrow comes into your back shoulder. And as you turn around, this green little creature riding a white wolf on top of a cliff. <laughs> Quick! Only one! Grab horses! Food! Let's go! To answer, I believe I said, Owie! Um, that was it. As it starts to knock another arrow, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast it. Range for Elders Blast? 100. Uh, hold on. I think it's 240 feet now. So Character sheet. That's what I forgot to open. <laughs> Need the character sheet. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I didn't get Spell Sniper. It's 120 feet. I was torn between two things, but I took a bonus action thing instead. Uh, McClov McClover gave Fane a D6. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She's going to need it. <laughs> Possibly. I'm the only one who can't go in the protective bubble. Uh, what was the hit? Um, it's within range. Yeah. Well, are you targeting the wolf or the creature on top of it? Oh, the creature on top is the one shooting me. 
The wolf is just a big puppy. <laughs> that could probably eat me. Um, so I rolled an 18 and an 11 for the two blasts. 18 and 11? Yeah. 11 misses, but 18 hits. Okay. Uh, then it takes seven points of force damage from that. Seven points of force damage? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, what is everybody else doing for this? I think we're talking, right? Can't see out. Talking, right? Yeah, Wait, we can see. You can see out. You can see out. Okay. Well, and you can also actually oh, yeah. like you can't cast spells out, but you could shoot out if the bow and arrow you had was with you when the spell was cast. Uh, but you can't so... cast spells out of it. Uh, Providence would would likely be have been paying attention to pain, pain, pain. Uh, I'm happy to roll a persuasion, uh, persuasion, perception check just to see if I would have noticed anything is happening. And and last week I did specifically say owie exactly like I just did a minute ago. So yeah, I mean y'all can easily look out and see. You see <laughs> these small uh, glo- goblinoid creatures. Uh, then then uh, Providence is immediately running out of the bubble to protect Fane. What's going? What's going on, guys? Somebody is shooting at Fane. Point me in the direction. <laughs> that way, guys. If I if I leave the bubble, it disappears. Do you want me to stay or do you want me to go? Just leave the bubble. So is everybody? I mean, is everybody? I mean, you can stay inside if you want. I don't have a bow and arrow though. Do you have an extra one, Arwenas? I don't think y'all have any bow and arrows. I have a crossbow, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, Providence uh, is going to take uh, a javelin and just throw it on the ground in front of uh, in front of Islam. Throw this. Right. If you want me to hold the spot, I will. Uh, but if you want me to go uh, out... Let's and... just go ahead and get some initiative rolls on yeah. D&D Beyond, please. Gotcha. Uh, I suppose I can. Ooh, I am surprised. I suppose I can cast fly on you soon. I got a nine. If you'd like, that is. And I'm pretty sure I didn't have um. Uh. Emboldening bond up. So. Nice. Uh, not anymore. No. No, that was a while ago. That actually had already ended at the end of last session. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I can I can do it as many times as I want. I just needed to know. So that's all. Well, if you don't need your crossbow, then I can use it from inside the bubble, maybe. But if you need it, then keep it, of course. You know what? Go ahead and use it. Probably. Yeah, I also s- it. I also still have my channel divinity. If but I don't. Want you to waste a spell slot. Just having this go away. I mean, I can make it again, but it takes 10 minutes. It's just if you wanted to be able to take cover inside of it or not. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, because you guys can go in and out of it, but I, mm-hmm. I can't. And you can shoot out of it, but you could like run out and then you can run back in so that they can't attack you, is the, is the thing. But I can't run in and out. All right, yeah, I'll so... hand you the uh, crossbow and crossbolts. There's only seventeen. There's only seventeen though. Fine. Left. Robin's picks up her javelin that she just threw on the ground. All right, we have <laughs> Robin's coming out. Who else came out? Uh, Arwenus, since I gave him my crossbow. I will. I too Which am outside, goes outside the, bubble. the bubbles. I'm also I'm coming out. Uh, yeah, he's gonna come out. Well, he's gonna stay with you. He's been tied up. Uh, I'm assuming. And then glitch, you're coming out too. Yep. Glitch joins the crowd. Anyone speak goblin? No. 
I have um, songs, but I have to prepare it. What if I said yes? Alrighty. Okay. I think Orcish and Goblin have the same written language. They speak common, I bet. Probably. <laughs> that too. It's like, I feel like we heard him speak common. Yeah. <laughs> Just I, as the player, know that. Providence is not so much. Well, we heard him speak something. To get the little one. Couldn't have let us have a log rest so we could get spell slots back. Even a short rest to get some spell slots back would have been great. <laughs> Do we are too busy throwing rocks around. Do get back no, he to told me rest? that it wasn't an hour. Oh, it wasn't an hour? Yeah. yeah. Never mind. I could have gotten my bark inspiration back if we did. Uh, John, yeah, I would have liked you're up first. Yay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll cast Fly on Providence, and then I'll walk over to the rock, uh, right behind the rock. Do you want to cast what on Providence? Fly. Fly? So fly. Yeah, you get you get 60 feet of a... Uh, and you're concentrating flight. on that, right? Yep, I'm concentrating on that. Nice. Is it Fly and Hover? It's... Well, yes, that's in how that... In 5e, hover is included with it, fly. Yes, hover is included with fly. You know hover, you just can't, like... I don't think you can go up you can, and down. With... You stay on the... I th uh, think. There is, a, uh, there is a spell levitate but that, uh, that you're trying to probably thinking of, but, um, yeah, fly, if you stop your movement, you're fine. You don't have to move your full fly speed. All right. And All right. Sam, you're staying in the bubble? Yeah, uh, I will use the crossbow. Did she give you any? Aim. Did she give you any bolts, or did she give you the crossbow? She gave me seventeen bolts. Yeah. I'm that ahead of it. I knew you were gonna pull something. That is a nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that completely misses. I don't know what you're aiming at, but. Oh, I was aiming at the, uh, oh yeah. If they can't see through the bubble, does that give me advantage on the attack? Well, uh, or... what's the range of the crossbow? Let's start there. Well, I added the wrong kind. So give me one second. It's 80 feet to 320. Uh, so 80 feet without disadvantage. Uh, It's about a hundred. Uh, the one on the top is a hundred feet away from you. Okay. Well, I missed. Alrighty. Uh, at the top. Uh, is that your turn? Is it you're staying there, Isam? Yeah. If I leave, then nobody can come back into the thing ever. Well, let's say something goblin since y'all remind me. As a, as a wolf turns to kind of start running away. Uh, coming around the bend. As two more on wolf, uh, wolf back. Another one that is on foot comes around this side, and then at the top, there's this one. We oh. can't see that. We can't see that. The one up top comes out. Uh, who's the close? Uh, anybody can roll me a perception check. Anybody? 
Anybody that's out... Yeah, I don't care. 13. Gotcha. Uh, dirty 13. 20. 13. Also 19. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind, Kayla. 21. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dirty 20 for me. So, Silver and Assam, you definitely oh. can see that... This... Oh, hold on. Stargana just gifted three tier one subs. Okay. Thank you, Stargana. Uh, Stargana, okay. you can give three. Oh, actually, no. That's a gifted sub. So, who has the bag of holding right now? I do. Kalis, cling, 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 cling. Three greater potions of healing pop out of the bag of holding. Thank you. Those are useful. They Thank were you. stolen by Manny before he gave them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stargana. Uh, can I get another shout out for Stargana? If you're not following Stargana, another excellent D&D streamer, first person shooter, <coughs> a wonderful friend of the channels. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks to three gifted. Uh, actually, exclamation point rewards can show you what exactly everything does. She had uh, gifted five gifted subs. Uh, that is when I start rolling off magic item tables. So, but yeah. But uh, everybody, you got three greater potions of healing that pop out of the bag of holding. I put it. I put it in there. Uh, so silver. Or I'm sorry, Arnis, Isam. Your wicked eagle eye sight. You can see like. This one on top comes walking around and it has like this headband of some sort with like some jewels wrapped around. And uh, he says with the most ungoblin like tone. Get it back to safety looks down at you guys and says we don't want no trouble we are hungry we saw food and horses we only saw one person we apologize and we are hungry oh, we have well do you guys want some food We still in initiative order? Yes. <laughs> but that that's that is his turn. Mm -hmm. Who's next? He will, he will also further say My name is Bolts, son of Olitz, aka Sprocket. Um can I insight him by any chance? From all the way back there? Sure, oh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's inside? There we go. Twenty-one. Uh, the the most civilized goblin you probably ever met. The most clean-speaking goblin you ever met does not appear to be trying to deceive you in any way. Isam will relay that to the party if he can do that out of turn. If not, then I'll wait. Uh, son of Olitz. O-L-I-X. Uh... The rest of these little goblins, goblinoids, are cautiously still approaching the horses, but not threatening to you guys at all at any means. They're just kind of approaching the horses, but also kind of cautiously approaching. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So that is their turn. Fane. Um, 
I'm gonna move forward like 15 feet. And then I'm gonna keep blasting the one that shot me. Yeah. Let me check. If I need, if I'm not within 120 feet, I'll move more forward. But he shot uh, me. Uh, My back hurts. I don't have temp HP anymore. That one. Uh, if you move there. about 95 feet away from you. Oh, well within range. But has three quarters cover. All right, if he's got a whole lot of cover and I can't really see him, then I'll just shoot the one on the wolf and where he was standing. Okay. Um, so that is a... 13 and a 21 to hit. 13 misses, but 21 hits. Okay. Four. Minimum, so five damage. Jane woke up and chose violence today. That guy shot me in, well, the other one shot me in the back. Um, I gotta is the one closest to me on the ground within 30 feet? 30 feet? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, actually, it's about 35 feet. About 35? All right. In that case, I'm going to grab a couple ball bearings from my pocket, and I'm going to use magic rock and throw one at the closest guy and nobody's stopping her we can't it's not our turn <laughs> you can use your yeah, reactions we... you have reactions fane fane stop just just hold on a second fine there's still our three magic ball bearings in my hand but i won't throw one right now <laughs> Be ready if they attack, but don't 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 start anything. I think I think we can work our way out of this. Okay, can I move five feet forward and then get a strength check from that one instead? Uh, DC fifteen. Uh, let's just say it fails. Okay. Um, he moves five feet back because I have a big brain today. And I'm just going to snarl at them. Please stop titting my family. We just hungry. We wanted food. We saw dead bodies, horses. So you'll eat dead bodies? Fane, you're up. Oh, no, that was Fane. Eh, Arnus. You'd rather they eat living bodies? Oh. Yeah. They could eat the evidence. I, yeah. I, I'm at a loss of words on this one. Okay. No body, no crime. True. They can just have the bodies. We need one. Okay, fine. One we keep. Why? Um, I don't. I don't know what to do. Um, I got this. I got this. I totally got. This. I, I wonder if just gonna hold her act, her, actually, because she has no idea what to do. Because it's just, like, what are you holding your action for? Uh, and what are you? What action are you uh, holding? Uh, I guess 
Can I? I have shielding still, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, I have healing still. See if we can make friends with these pe with these creatures, maybe. Are you gonna maybe heal the enough. one that uh? Yeah, I could do that, that actually now. Uh, that that uh, Fane targeted and nearby mm -hmm. killed. Yeah, I'll do that at second level. It's within sixty feet, right? Uh, what are you doing? Or do I have to move up? Yeah, that's the one only one I can do. Otherwise, I can have to get closer. Move like five feet. Okay, I'll move about five feet up. What's it look cast... like when you cast it? What do you say? Um, it's gonna look like a kind of a flame almost, but it's not gonna burn. It's warm and kind of has this healing pulse. And I'm gonna say, all right, if you mean us no harm, we mean you no harm, and I'll cast it, and they'll get back nine healing, nine points of healing. <laughs> Well, he's back at Matt's. Go ahead, Casino, Casito, with you. I don't. Now you're going to start turning to walk away. Uh, glitch. Uh, Glitch is going to head over to the large uh, wagon and climb on top of it and get ready to climb up onto the ledge if need be. You got 30 feet, right? Yeah, I'll dash even. Alright, you where you want to climb up? Here? Yeah. That's it. All right. Providence. Now you have five. Oh, cast this is out. amazing. I am so excited. Uh, can I uh, fly up to the same height as, as Sprocket back there? And as far forward as I can at the same time? That's not Sprocket, but... You said he, you said he was... Son, son of... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. so I thought he was like... Yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, so I the guy that is son of Olin. Yeah, you said son of Olix, a.k.a. Sprocket. So his name is no. Old. So he's saying is Olix is Sprocket. This is the son of Sprocket. Yeah, that's what I didn't understand. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, his real oh, name, wait, is, his Olix, name is not Bolt. but he's called Sprocket in the verse. So if Sprocket was here, this would be Sprocket. Sprocket would have an orange face. Sure. Anyway, can I fly up to the same level as that guy at the top and as far forward as I can? Uh, what's your movement? Uh, 30? Or is it 40 60. now? 60. No, it's more... 60. It's 30, but 60 for the, uh, for the, for the fly. 60 feet of flight, yes. Yep. I mean, you can fly right up to him if you like. You can fly up right to him if you like. That seems like it's further away than 60 feet. Right here for 60 feet. Sure, just put me up in the middle there. Yeah, and I just want to look right at him, and I'd like to cast Thaumaturgy so that my voice booms out like super loud, and I just want to yell out like, Bolts, son of Olix. My name is Providence. If you put your weapons down and come down and talk, we can give you some of the food here. Uh, we don't mean you any harm either. You agree? I do. He's going to insight you. Sure. I'm, I'm not lying. 17 plus. Uh, 22 insight. I, I'm not lying. He, he says, Okay, 
I trust you. How about this? You don't need to spare your food. Just let us take let us take these bodies and horses, and I'll stay myself and have a chat. We can't give you all of them. We need at least one of the body and some of the horses to carry the carriage. Carriage. But you can take the rest. Do you have horses attached to the carriage already? Uh, we 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 definitely need a few of the horses to take back. You can take two well, of the horses. Well, you have the carriage that already has four horses attached to it pulling. You also have a cart with two horses, the ones you came yeah. up with. You can have two don't, of the horses. And we have a druid. Don't, don't forget that we're giving the other cart back so we won't have any horses for ourselves if we give away all the horses. But we're making friends. Make for yourself, I have a horse. Anyway, so that's your turn. Uh, Kayla's, what are you doing? I'm surprised. Oh, that's right. Um, the wolves are being ridden right now. The knight looks over. Uh, it's still in the tiny hut with uh, his arms. Like, what are your friends doing? Not entirely sure. Sure. It looks like they're negotiating with the goblins, but they have a history of negotiating really poorly every time they do it. So I'm <laughs> feeling a little bit nervous about how this is going to turn out. Hmm. Would you like some nuts? We can sit back um, and eat. <laughs> they sound great. I might, I might step out. And <laughs> if if not, I have some of these blueberries that grow around Aventus. Yeah. If you like some blueberries. I, I, blueberries are fantastic. Uh, and, blueberries and from hell. I'm not Avernus, <laughs> Aventus. Aventus, oh. Aventus. <laughs> uh, While I'm sure uh, your nuts are absolutely delicious, um, maybe we should eat later. Somebody clip that. <laughs> All right. Um, Unless anybody's going to continue attacking, I'll go ahead and say we're out of combat. Unless uh, Isam's probably going to try to like step out and try to intervene to get the whole group of goblins to stay and possibly help us with watch tonight. That's uh, out of the way. All right. Well, let's let's stay in this. Gene, what are you doing? Awesome. Uh, since we've come to a deal, uh, <clears throat> I, I'll step up from behind the rock. Fly like, last ten minutes. Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah. Like a hundred rounds of combat, guys. Uh, shoot. I don't think I have anything else I want to do. Uh, seem peaceful now, right? Yeah, we've come to a deal. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll just step out, um, stand next to Fane. Okay, that's, that's pretty much my turn. I don't I don't know what to do at this point. All right, Sam, what are you doing? Go go ahead and step out of the bubble. I like how he's got like his blaster out all the time. <laughs> and you just sound um, to mini like that, bud. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he will say uh, his name was Olix or Bolt, because I saw both of those in chat. This is Bolt. Yeah, he said uh, his name is uh, Bolt, son of Olix. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, hello, Bolts. It's nice to meet you. I'm Isam. Uh, perhaps in exchange for food, you could help us guard these carts tonight. Uh, he res group. he'll respond because he's after you anyway. He says, uh, we have a starving tribe that we need to feed, so we need to get these back. But you could take your one body like uh, they agreed upon.
Uh, he's just gonna look at uh, Providence to see if she. Providence is but flying she... in the air. Yeah. She also has thermometry up, so it's probably still being concentrated on. So she's gonna yell back really loudly. Yeah, I said they could have one. Uh, they could have all the bodies. We're gonna keep one, so we have like proof of stuff. Is that okay? I don't think. I don't think you should give them the horses. Well, we need most of the horses. I said they could have two. How are we gonna go anywhere with we our? Got four cart? horses. Yeah, that those four horses are going back to the Livingsters, so that leaves us with a cart with no horses. Hey, Bolts, can we keep more of the horses? We need to pull the butties. You said you said the deal was uh, two horses and the cart of bodies, and you get to keep one. That was the deal. Make you more professional. That was the deal that you just made. Yeah, I don't like going back on a deal, but it would be really helpful. Can maybe we can like help you pull stuff? Working on a friendship deal here. How about this? We uh, take them back to a twive and they can bring back the horses for you. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah, let's work with that plan. Okay. Hey, Bulls, I'm going to be perfectly sure. honest here. I've never flown before. Are you good chatting with my colleague down there? His name is Isam. He's our babysitter. I'm just going to go fly my friend around a little bit because this is fun. Yeah. I ain't familiar with the spell fly. So she's going to zip down and just grab Fane. No consent. Just pick her up. I'm not moving your miniatures at this point. <laughs> All right. We come to Fane. Fane, you attacking anybody? Um, I was told not to, so I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast some of the bodies in the cart, because I'm still angry. Are you really gonna do that? Yeah, I'm mad, and I just got picked up, and I don't know what it did to the arrow that's sticking in my back. Why? Why? Because I played my character the way... You might want to use her reactions to try and stop her. She's in the air now with away. Providence. Fane, like, don't how do, do it. What can we even do? <laughs> I can't see don't, anything. Don't, don't. They need it for food. You shoot them, it's going to just go disappear, and we don't need that. You might just ruin the whole deal that Providence Yee. just made. Let's let's Bye. not do it. I know you're angry. There's a rock. Shoot at the rock or the boulder. It can take the damage. I'm gonna do a quick little wisdom thing to see if Fame is listening. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like the roll. That's what I mean. She is. <laughs> um, uh, that's I'll I'll shoot the rock right next to the um the guy on the wolf. What is that num? I can't read the number. Sorry. I think it's number two. You're shooting what? I'm gonna shoot right in, right between the two guys on the wolves there. So yeah, you're gonna make it even worse and actually aim it at the retchin. <laughs> that, that, that is a rock. The big boulder next to John. Not that way. <laughs> I rolled a 13 and a 21 to hit between the two of them. Oh my. I mean, who knows? Maybe we could win this fight. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend just healed that guy and not me after I have an arrow in my back. Whoops. I, I thought we have a deal. Why is your friend still attacking us? She's young. That one does not speak for the rest of the for the rest you know, of the group. We are sincerely kid. sorry. Ignore her. Angry. I, I get oh, my I me. get my kind has a bad rap, but you shot well not you he shot me. Yeah, he's I, an I idiot. Think it's more of the the arrow sticking inside of her. That and might to be, be fair, kind of to be fair, my bro my brother is an idiot. 
She's also an idiot. Uh, we're sorry for that. We didn't have to say it out loud. Uh, Jane has said that her head is the least uh, valuable part of her. Back when people were like, there's a bounty on your head. So... <laughs> You're not going to offend her with that one. I mean, you're, you're flying, so I don't know if you can hear us at this point or whatever. But... Can you get rid of her, please? You flying girl, take her. If I told you my name. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But Providence, take your friend away, please. Hey, Fane, do you want to go anywhere? If any of them are within 30 feet of me, can I get a, just from one of them, a strength? Save. Ooh. DC 15. Yeah, natural 18. Nice. Do they have a negative four? No. <laughs> no. Okay, then they don't get shoved back. Hey, how's your back? Are you okay? It's fine. You sure? Do you want any healing? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Alrighty, Arnis, you doing anything? Uh, I'm gonna walk up to Fane and heal her because she's flying right now. She's oh, flying in, in the air, so. <sighs> uh. No, I'm just going to be shaking my head like, oh, brother. All right. Glitch? Uh, I'm going to pull a body from the wagon. Okay. Any particular body you're trying to go for? Whatever was one's easiest. One that's in the best. One that still has a head. And we don't, drive the cart we, back. we don't want one of the guards. We want... Definitely one of the Black Order people. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, he's going through. Well, the mother is currently on, the, on top of the cart. The one. And that... we don't want to. Oh, no. Toss her off the side a little bit. And then find the right guard. Black Order guard. The mother was one of the Black Order, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm just oh, saying. We want her? Uh, yeah, she's one. Of, she was the mother that the kid was going after, or trying to hug. Was all upset. But yeah, they're all black order. <laughs> Send the mom back. <laughs> That's a flaw. <flummy. laughs> it's even worse. Providence, where y'all doing? Which one do you want? Yep, I'm holding up just... various bodies' heads. So which one do you want? <laughs> I'm just flying around, just having fun. I'm hoping Fane's having fun, but I don't know. She's probably pouting in your arms. <laughs> Not pouting, I'm growling, actually. Okay. okay uh, am I smart enough to know that? Hold on one second. Uh, in tempering, I don't know. Insight, I got a two, so that's a seven. I did not know. Nope, you're having fun. No horse can do that. <laughs> Kayla's. I mean, yep. quite possibly, yes. You don't anyway. I, I would have... I, I'm just waiting for the goblins to come down. He said he wanted to talk. He was invited to talk. I but every every to time he starts to, he gets an Eldritch Blast shot at him. So. All right. Anything else? Any of us? All right, John, for the do next anything. Minutes. I'll, 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 I'll point at one of the bodies Glitch is holding up and be like, that one. That one's better. So we have a decision. Okay. All right, perfect. Isam, the ones that they're taking, Isam's just going to make sure that the weapons and armor uh, we've got. Um, yeah, give me all the plucked them already, long, like last session. Did anyone get the bow of the, uh, the bow of the assassin? The what? The there was an assassin was us a with a bow. We, we, you don't know this, but we got the arrows. 
But did you get the bow? The bow was just a long bow. The arrows was what was poisoned. Yeah, I need a long bow. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like it, he'll make sure like if there's anything left, he's got we've gotten the armor off of it. And do you uh, if there's a long bow, I do. Okay. And yeah, um, so, uh, they did get the long bow, but I don't know if they gave it to anybody. Okay. Well, so long as it's all clear and he's like made sure that like we've gotten everything off the bodies, then he'll just want to make sure we aren't giving everything away for the for the goblin. All right, uh, the goblins slowly start taking the cart away, uh, unless he might stop some. Uh, Bolt starts to walk down the mountainside, uh, kind of watching where Providence and Fane are at. Fane, are you still trying to do anything? No, I'm just growling. All right. You can get rid of the battle. Uh, I want to give you back the, your crossbow and your bolts. By yeah, the way. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank where you. Did that one go? Literally had to pull up my character sheet to see if I had put under my list of fears if heights was in there but it's not so is it okay if i add a longbow guys hmm? if no one else wants the longbow are you looking at the longbow I mean, yeah okay now uh, give me an investigation check Three. You see about 12 marts carved into the the bow, but you have no clue what the hell they are. Maybe okay, I just need a bow. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably cursed, but... <laughs> No, it's kind of above table is basically their assassin kills. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's yeah. what I figured. But, but his <laughs> investigation of three wasn't particularly perceptive. You might think there's part <laughs> of the wood graving. Who fucking knows? <laughs> oh, well, I should have a female tiefling. But <clears throat> we're out of combat. If. Uh, he comes down while they take out the cart and the bodies <coughs> and the horses. They leave the big carriage and four horses there, and he comes down. Thank you for not killing my family and my tribe. Yes, thank you for saying something. Why would I not? Uh, by about this time, Providence is probably going to bring Fane back down. She'll just be hovering behind everyone. I'm not oh, sure. Walk. Fane's going to walk off to the side just a little bit and just start like clawing on my back to try to get the arrow out. Do you need help, Fane? Fane. No. Fane. Yeah. Do you need help with the arrow? No. Maybe. Come here. Come here. I'm going to stand where I am and just keep reaching. Right. I'm going to walk to Fane and go, okay, on the count of three. One, two, and I pop. Owie, you don't know how to count very well. Well, I was trying to do it with you unexpected, so you're not bracing. Fine. And I'll... Uh... True. She might not be as old as we think. She doesn't even know how to count to three. You just be dumb. Okay. Hey. Sounds like you have it under hand, so you don't need me anymore, so I can leave. Oh, how far away is your encampment? A few miles back that way. 
It's been about six years since you've been in this world, so. Six years since you've been in this entire world. Yeah. Like you were born six years ago? No. Uh, we were from a world called the Forgotten Realms where uh, an event happened somewhere in Icewind Dale and me, my tribe, my family, we vanished. Why was it forgotten? Those words make no sense. Yeah, that makes no sense. I've never heard of those places. And I've been yeah, a lot I of places. Swear. Yeah, it's, it's, it was not this world. It was a different world. My research, thanks to this trinket that I have on my head, it allows me to do great research. It's called plane shifting. At least a version of it. I, there's, there's more infernal magic, I think, but... What is the thing like on, its head, on its head? It's like a headband thing. Oh, it looks right. like a headband of intellect. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Make our kind of check. <laughs> so your your hat makes you a nerd? Are you shouting this from flying around? I'm not flying around. She put me down. Oh. I'm like 20 feet off to the side because I'm. What's a nerd? Stupid, smart, weak people. Stupid, I'm very smart, smart, but I don't know what nerd means. Um, anyway, uh, you seem to not be very bright, even though we had a, a, a truce and you still decided to try to attack us. No, I attacked between you guys. Fane, you were attacking them after we called a truce? No, I attacked between I, them. Technically, yeah, she did. You do she apologize shot me for her. She, she yes, is, uh, that is fair, but... Can, can on the you, smart side. Can you not see how an attack in their direction could be construed as an attack against them? Uh, well, yeah, otherwise it wouldn't be, there'd be no point, but Arwenus told me I to said, attack the rock, so I attacked the rock John. between them. I said near John. I didn't hear that part, I was up okay. in the air. Of course you didn't hear that part. You only laugh, listen to me. So it sounds like you have someone similar in your party as well, right? Well, I mean, they're gob we're goblins, I just... You know, ever since we were vanished from Neverwinter, it's just, you know, been out here living. Icewind Dale sounds like an awful place. Cold. But Neverwinter sounds like it's really warm. That's a good name. They're still super strange, but... I don't know. Icewind Dale sounds kind of nice. Is it, like, up in the north the area? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, it sounds like uh, it's kind of like uh, your the five towns of crystalline. <gasps> That's where I come from, and Fane. Mm -hmm. hmm. Where our people I come from back there was a little bit more hearty people. Yeah, we're pretty tough up there. Anyway, uh, anyway, um, just so uh, yeah. I'm not sure who all knows the story, but there was an artificer named, oh, that was my father. He abandoned us and went to go live in Avernus, the first layer of hell, if you did not know that. And uh, it's around about the time we vanished from our original world and arrived here. So your dad went to hell, and you ended up in a new world. Yes. A whole new world. If it means anything, my parents abandoned me. Well, my mom did, so she sucks. Sounds like your dad right. sucks, too. Yeah, our mom died of old age. Sorry. Uh, actually, I was just kidding. I don't know where the hell she's at, either. So are you, like, trying to get back home, or are you just uh, making the best of what you got now? Making the best of what we get. 
I have a family to support. I'm the oldest of five kids. My name is oh, Bolts. Uh, the one that your friend almost killed is Jit. Stroll. And then my two sisters is Bullets and Swashka. Swashka. That's Sorry. a lot cool. of kids. It sounds like Fane and Jolts have a lot in common. Maybe it could be an enemies to love. You don't situation. know. You don't know how uh, goblins are come. They come in litters. They come in what? Litters. Litters. Like you. Like tra kittens. Like trash on the street. No. No. Like like a, a large oh. number of <laughs> children at one time. Like have you have you ever seen kittens? No. No, uh, puppies. He's never seen I anything. I don't think. I don't think he's ever no. seen anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, bunnies. He can't. I, 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 I know about <laughs> these things in concept. So it's it. it I guess it means beach. So the word itself just means a Maybe. a number of offspring from an animal. Well, not an yeah. animal. Like he's a person. Come on. So how many siblings did you say there was again? There's five, five of us. Is that a lot? Uh, it's, a, it's a lot for mammals. It's not a lot for my mom's family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you were all born at the same time. That makes you a litter, right? Correct. Oh, why so you, you like why, why are you blindfolded? Because I'm blind. Because I'm blind. It, it's okay, Kayla's breathe. I got a little I, 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 about I, that. Yep, I, I am so sorry. Breathe, 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 breathe. Don't okay. apologize to well, him. He just was going to kill me like five minutes ago. Well, he didn't I'm, kill you, did he? I'm sure a lot of people share that sentiment, Fane. But... I mean, think of it this way. Yeah. He picked the toughest person he could see, and he attacked her. I didn't attack anybody. It was my she... idiot brother. Well, she was technically the only one he they could see. So, shh, shh, shh. D -d -d sorry. <laughs> anyway, well, that's not true. Bane's well, well, immune to death anyway. Not immune to pain. Okay. Got to work on that. All right. Speaking All right. of, do, do you need could healed, Bane? I... I'm at a spell slot, I... so yes. Can I... Can I ask you a favor, Bolt? Mm. She just said no. Yes. <laughs> Could you offer Fane an apology? Persuasion check with disadvantage. I it might you. help. She she did attack them back. In all fairness. All right, disadvantage. What if I used command? <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> Apologize. Okay, the, the low was uh, sixteen. <laughs> he, he he sits there and contemplates it. No. That's fair, honestly. He almost uh, she almost did kill my brother and still made a tats on us. So no. Okay. Well. We're sorry on everybody's behalf. This all could have been avoided. It seems like you're a reasonable creature. We're reasonable creatures. You got Apology what you wanted. accepted. Now so my tribe can go we... eat and not starve. We don't know our way around this place as well as you do you've been here you said six years how long have you been here well, 22 years oh. that's a lot more than me so okay well technically i lived on top of I, I lived on top of a mountain and then i was kidnapped and i live underneath this mountain so i'll we, i think yeah, they're talking we, about the local area uh yeah uh, I don't yeah, know we... if you notice, but we are goblins. We are not very welcome in your towns. Do you know where the towns are? East Haven's right over there. You can see yeah. it if you look that way. Yeah, it's right over there. It's right. 
Oh, you're right. I can see it. It's just right there. Hey, Liz. I guess Our what I was... great. <laughs> But not needed right now. I think the saying is misery loves company. So sorry, Kalis. Above <laughs> all, but in in character. <laughs> I'm forgetting. I guess I guess what I was saying, Bolts, is that we need a safe place to spend the night and protect our cart until tomorrow before we can go elsewhere. And you know the forest very well. Maybe uh, we can planes. either planes. Very well. Maybe we could either stay at your camp for the night, or you could help us find a place that that might be particularly safe. Uh, your magic bubble seems really safe because we didn't even see you. It doesn't. Yeah, to but be, you saw our cart. To be you fair, saw our cart. Well, to be fair, that is more safe than being in a camp of goblins. Well, not if you promise not to hurt us. I promise. Maybe. I cannot guarantee. I can't keep an eye on all goblins. Are they not your family? I have five symbolites. I have two hundred goblins in my camp. Whoa! Sometimes command and yeah, we're not you the, even harder. Are you them. the leader of the goblins? We don't have a leader, but I'm the more smartest one of them. But we don't really have a de facto leader. I guess you could say I could be a leader, but goblins are idiots. Yeah, but there's a there's a strength in a lot of idiots. The strength in numbers. Yeah. And I think we could come to an arrangement. Like, we can help you, and you can help us. Uh, we just technically did help them. That's what I'm saying. Like, we help <laughs> them, and they can help us now. Also, I have questions about this cannibalism thing, because I'll just. I mean, it's yeah. not really cannibalism. It, it's the goblins. But, but we're all humanoids, right? Yeah, I mean, I could, but... Could I eat a dragonborn? Isn't cannibalism technically eating your own species? So I could eat Arwenus. Hey. Yeah, you could. Why me? I feel like... On this note, I'm going to go ahead and leave and make sure my family is wow. safe. Okay, Bolts. we're getting our... We're doing back, business. Right? Well, it's, so... Can you at least, at the very least, help us find a safe, defensible spot to hide this cart until tomorrow and keep it safe? Or lend us, once you've eaten, lend us some of your most trusted goblins to help us for the night? I think we'll be... It's fine if we just stay in the cart. Will we not? I can't put the, put the cart persuasion check in the cave. Can I give him guidance? Mine's a 30 foot radius. So that's a 60 foot diameter. So I'll, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm just patting you on the on the back and I'm like, I believe in you. Okay. Uh, that comes out to a total of 14. Even with the guidance? Yeah, I rolled a one on the D4. I rolled an eight on the D20. <laughs> I hope action would like let me re-roll it though, you know, to... Um, but yeah, and I have a plus five. I have this. So that could... um, he wrote a natural 20, so if you beat it, he would have brought you back, but he didn't, so he's going to give you something else. He pulls out this thing and he unfolds it and throws it out. Maybe this will help, but I don't know if it might. It's something I found, and it's, uh, what is it, a black hole thingy? Portable you... hole? Portable hole. There you go. Uh, you can try that. I don't know if it'll work, but don't stay in there too long. If you close it up, you suffocate and die. Well, no, way most of us are immune to death. Well, I'm not. Uh, I don't think it was like that. And he's. <laughs> <laughs> And so they are bringing the cart back with the horses soon, right? Or mm, said they it. will. They did they say they lie. That's kind of why I need to go back to make sure they do that. All right. Okay. Well, thank, have a good thank night. You both. See you in the morning. It's been a pleasure. We're sorry. Thank you for your hospitality, and uh, you have a wonderful night. And he turns and walks off into the night.
So you can add one portable hole to your inventory. Whoever's taking it. Somebody else Privilege, can carry that. Do you, do you um, want this portable hole or Jean-Pierre? I'll take it. Go for it, John. Oh, the things you could steal with that. Liberate. The things you could liberate with that. No, the things I could steal with this. <laughs> you had it right the first time. Yeah, because remember, liberating is your own property. Uh, right. That was a interesting goblin that uh, we just met. Oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> oh my god. That's fine. You can't see me anyway. So, um, why can't we see him? What? No, oh, he's blind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. The Honorable, that was rude. How's it rude? I just speak the truth. It, 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 that is that is the truth. Yeah, but you said it in a rude way. He just said he forgot I was even here. How was that not rude? Because you're new. I and, also and have you were just service. attacking in the middle of a truce. That's pretty rude. Would you not agree? I also think it's rude that my friends didn't care that they were fine with killing me until they saw that they were going to lose. Have you been saying that you cannot go? Usually. Not the one that he started, and I'll point to a psalm. Uh, Who started? Yeah, a psalm did start a fight. I think. I don't know. We were in the ca we were in the, 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 the carriage, I guess. I don't know what that what actually did happen out there. Was that a losing fight? He he picked a fight with like everyone other than us, but all on his own. And then we joined in and saved him and, and glitch melted a person, which was really cool. It was rather reckless and impetuous. Thank you, Fame, for saving me. But all that to say, apparently you guys don't care if people come and try to kill me just if no. they try to kill all of us. No. I don't think Where's... it's just they, they care that you people are trying to kill you. They're obviously upset about it, but mm -hmm. they're hoping for the most positive outcome possible. No problem. I would have been very sad if you had died, Spain. Did they attack and you again after the conversation had happened? Conversation just ended. Did they attack you again? No, but I only attacked them twice. And they attacked they might... you how many times? I only attacked them once after the conversation started. Well, then we can just call that a draw. I mean, I, I, think, I think you're right to be upset. But in this moment, I think restraint was very helpful. And... Uh, Thank you for ultimately restraining yourself. Mm -hmm. Despite being super angry, I understand how hard that is. And I, I think Prue restrained me, actually. She grabbed me real quick. It was a cooperative venture, it looked like. The two of you restrained yourself together. Yeah. Let's, let's stop picking on me. Who's picking on Faint? What was that? Who's picking on fame? Everyone. I'm not picking on fame. I'm the honorable. Bedtime? Yeah. yeah. You can notice the Orwin has hold her stomach because she's still pretty hurt. Do you okay. need healing? <laughs> and I'm yeah. sorry for not consulting you all. I just didn't think it was possible to discuss killing Take the guards 15 points of HP. in front of them. Thank you. Oh, back to full. Were you back to full? I laid um, on hands. Well, oh. I also had that uh, injury, the 
severe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does that go away at the end of combat, or when does it go nope. away? Until I get healed, I believe. It's yeah. whatever the text says. That one said mm -hmm. until she gets healed. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Kalis. Bane, are you alright? Yeah. I can heal you. No. I mean, sleep will do the same thing, but... Do you want me to heal you? This no. is more... Full of sorries. Yes. I'm a bit tapped out. If you, if anybody can heal, it'd be great. Heal you? Uh, me and and Fane, if she'll accept it. I'm fine. Are you sure? I can't. I can't do anything right now. I'm. I'm really tapped out. Uh oh. <laughs> then I will give ten points of healing. To Providence. Thanks, Manly. Anybody else need anything in case we get attacked again? She can give me a constitution saving throw. Me? Uh, I am down to 18 16. hit points. 16. Take, take a cure. But. But if we get attacked again, I'm useless because I have zero spell slots. So okay, well then I'll <laughs> let you keep that. Uh, Gene, who I are you also by right now forgot to hmm? prepare cure. Blue. John, who are you sending uh, about right now? What are we standing next to? Which maybe standing next to province? I'd be standing somewhere next to. Hmm, it's a glitch. Glitch. Okay. Glitch, as you're saying, uh, what's your passive perception? It's pretty high, right? 14. 14. You, you see, coming out of the side of John's eye, this green goo is just ooing down. What's wrong with your eye? It's like the <laughs> finger is kind of like almost touching it. I'll touch it. Is it the bird flu? Ah. Uh oh. That's uh. <laughs> that's not normal. If he has no patient zero, are you becoming an orc? Uh, John, you start figuring out that you're struggling to talk, and your throat is hurting even more. So, like, your broken common is getting worse. Can Isam do a medicine check, or does he notice any of this? I will uh, mention help, I should say. I rub his throat. Um, Lurk. <laughs> I have one spell slot left. I do. Uh, I'll do a medicine check left. if you'll allow it, Jugan. Yeah. Well, Medicine check for sure. Investigation, something. Uh, this is going to take a while, but Providence is going to start casting Detect Poison and Disease as a ritual. Does anyone, does anyone want to give me, I'll give myself guidance, but does anyone want to give me the help action on the medicine check? I, uh, yeah. Are you proficient in medicine checks? Oh, me, no. So how I roll it, if you want to as, as for specific, so stuff specific like this, you have to be proficient in it to get the help option. Okay. I'll pretend to help by pointing out all the ways that green means <laughs> or I'm half proficient. All right. Well, I rolled half a help action. An eight, <laughs> One eighteen. D10. I did pretty well. I rolled an eighteen plus five for a twenty. Zephron gives you a D six for that med check. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Okay, so that brings it up to uh, 25 plus 3 from the D6, 27. 28. Um, something's going on with John that is some sort of disease. You can probably determine that might have been caused by those poison arrows that he got hit. Uh, and can lesser restoration cure that disease? 
by any chance? Mm, that would be a separate chat for Arcana. I guess. Anyone want to give me the help action on the Arcana check? I mean, we kind of know have a plus zero what our Arcana. spells would take care of and what they wouldn't, right? It says, the description on Lesser Restoration okay. says, you touch a creature and can end either one disease or one condition afflicting it. Oh, uh, I can also cure diseases with my Lay on Hand. Uh, how many you have oh, left? Five. Oh, I've got zero left. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a t- yeah. that'll be a tomorrow. <laughs> that will be Same a tomorrow with, issue. It's yeah, on, with lesser restoration, it, it's something that has to be for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll say the arrows have, have left him some sort of lingering disease. It looks like I can try to fix that in like an hour. Yeah, I can't do anything until tomorrow, and I don't know for sure if it'll work. Oh, no. I can do something tomorrow, and I Same. do know that it'll work. I'm now Does two minutes into to... casting Detect Poison and Disease. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cast Detect Poison and Disease. <laughs> do you have any spell slots left? Yeah, I've got one first level spell slot and two second level spell slots. Uh, nice. Also, that was a 19 on the Arcana check with Guidance. All right, so Asam and Kalis, you do realize it is some sort of lingering disease that spawned off the poison that is afflicting his bird-like creature, probably. But the kind of will it kill him before sunrise? No. We're good uh, here. Th- Are you good here, buddy? Yeah. Do you feel good? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just. I thought the Arcana check was to let us know if lesser restoration or our powers would how to well, cure it. It'll be it would have to be something much stronger than lesser restoration. Well, it's a dis- just a disease, right? Disease, yeah. The only other spell I know of is greater restoration. That's a level five spell. Well, I can also you, just use. I would five say. You, I, I would say, it would have to be greater restoration or Kalis's, uh Lay on, lay on hands, hands. Okay. but not lesser restoration no right. it's a little bit more potent than less restoration so if we could just take a nap i'll fix it in the morning what about if lesser restoration sorry i'm just picking happen- on your uh, race class there john <laughs> Third. <laughs> yeah what'd you say fane I said, what if Lesser Restoration is upcast at third level? There's no sense. There's no upcasting. It doesn't do anything. It has the same effect. I don't think you you get to target more targets with that. It's just using a higher spell slot. I only have level three spell slots. Warlock stuff. Yeah. All right. So what are y'all doing for the long rest? Taking a nap. Mm-hmm. Are y'all um, just doing in the middle of the plains, no. or what are y'all no. doing? No. Uh, how big is the cart that we have left? It's massive. Do you guys want me to but make another in hut? in feet, how big is it? About- guys, he's been poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> it's about with the... the <laughs> <laughs> it's horse attachments so is probably about 60 to 70 feet long. And it's about uh, 30 feet, 30 or 40, no, not 30 feet, about 20 feet wide. And the depth. Well, that's fine. And then the depth is the high, as high as point is about 30 feet. Cool. Uh, my dome magic will hole? cover that. If I just stand in the middle. My dome will cover that. Hmm. I can't put it inside of Liamman's okay. hut if you guys want to use the hut. So it's up to you if you guys want to use it or not. I mean, if you just, cast Liamman's tiny hut over top of half an object, can you move the object? Hmm. I don't. I I think it. The spell doesn't work if you. Um, I think. Isn't if you try to have it? something too yeah. big inside of it, yeah. Here's what it says. 
Then we rolled it completely different in Avernus campaign. Oh, well, however you want to rule it is how it works. But go ahead and say it. I, I just pictured that it just mean half, it's cover a, half of it. Yeah, a 10 foot radius of a mobile, of a uh, mobile dome of force springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave its area. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome with you. The spell fails if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Uh, creatures yeah, yeah, and objects sense, yeah. within the dome. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it, it uh, it's not really clear on objects. So, I guess it doesn't really say a whole lot about objects. But also, you're trying to put seven people and four horses. That's yeah, one we, the horses wouldn't wouldn't be able to get in for sure. But my dome uh, is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess do you guys and also humans? Fane would be inside of my dome. I don't think she's gonna get inside of that tiny hut. Yeah. I guess the question is, do you want the tiny hut like next to the dome or no? I guess you guys don't want the tiny hut. Because we can just chill out inside the cart. But your dome doesn't. It just makes us invisible, right? It makes us invisible. Okay. It's better cool. than nothing. And then. Anybody that looks outside of it, like if you're looking outside of it, uh, you get advantage on perception checks. Kaylee says you, uh, with your special abilities with the night sky, you start to see it fade as blackness and rain starts coming down. The hut as does well. protect from rain. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, if, you, if you're inside the cart, the cart protects from rain yeah. too. I'm just going to walk into the cart. All right. Can I try to climb on top of the cart? Yeah. Cool. As you're getting rained on? Yeah, that's fine. I've been living out in the wilderness and wandering from town to town for years, so. I will climb up onto the top as well. I'm not. I don't like rain. Nope. I, I don't. It's the first time I've felt rain in like two years. So I'm going to enjoy it for a few and then, oh yeah, it's too cold. Don't, please. Or cart. Um, Take a nap. All right. Can uh, we divide up the, the watches mm -hmm. before you take a nap, Kayla? Sure. Who's with who? Uh, Province, give me wisdom saving throw. Oh, joy. <laughs> Kalis, do you want to take watch with me? That's a 10. Okay. Uh, as y'all are up there, um, the rain is so cold and wet. Your body does not like it, and you automatically spend your radiant consumption, and you and Fane start taking radiant damage. Sorry, sorry. I'll just, I'll just go off. I'll stay away from the horses. Oh, sorry, faint. Sorry. I'll just go. And she kind of runs off. I, I would like to counter that with a. We are from a very northern place, and this is pretty far south. Yeah, that's Northern's true. That is true. We literally come from the north. Yeah, but you have not dealt with soaking wet rain. Okay. One of these days, you're going to come visit Canada, and you'll let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it's, it's been well below freezing, and I've been walking it, it's around. More of a, it's more of y'all fighting off a cold. It's more mm -hmm. of that than actual, yep. like, the weather itself. If your get, clothes get are some, wet, you're in trouble, so. Get, get, some, get some rest, Fane. I'll just, I'll just be over here. Give me no Providence wisdom saving since... throw. Okay. Me? Mm -hmm. An 11. I'm going up. There we go. Uh, who's inside the cart? I am. I, I am. Know. With Jizz. I am. But the one's inside the cart, and you start seeing, like, the roof starting to smoke. <laughs> Rolling off. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good or look good. It's a radiant smoke, though. Mm. Oh, all right. Um, is the dome up? 
You got the dumps up. Okay. And it's already through. Ah. Uh, hmm? Can we look? Do we see anything from out the window? Everything okay up there? Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. I, I am hearing tale of the roof is smoking. Do you guys have a blanket? Is there a blanket in there? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I've got a blanket. Take one. Yeah. And I'm going to bundle it up and throw it at Groot. Thank you. Okay, who's taking with watch with who? Uh, Providence will take the first watch. Anybody wants to join me, it's fine. Can I take watch with Kalis? What do you think, yeah. Kalis? That's fine. Am I doing watch by myself? I'll take watch with you. John's going to get a nice, nice long rest to stave off this disease. Yeah, you, you get some... Yeah, John can nap it out. <laughs> All right, Glitch, you want to take the last one? Uh, John, as you're, you're getting too. ready for bed, as you try to speak, you're not able to speak anymore. Hmm. You oh. make more, you, you make like grunts and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, John can't talk. Nap it out, bud. <laughs> is there anything <laughs> that can... Is there anything that the medicine check might have told me that could be done to ease his pain at all? Or? Well, you rolled yeah, like, high enough. A... You rolled high enough. It's Whatever happened with the shot, it, it's affecting his race. Is he in pain? Like, Am I in pain? I guess. Or is he just like a little uncomfy? Did. did Give me a constitution role... check. Just a check. Not a save. Just, con just a check. Okay. Yeah. 17. 17. You can feel the scratchiness and your. Whatever. Your throat swelling up. And you, you have pain. But, you know, your life as your past. It's toughened you up a bit, but... Oh, it's... so it's like an allergic reaction. That's really fun. That's really fun to hear. Yeah. That I'm going to die from anaphylaxis. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, um, did the medicine check tell me, hey, maybe I could give him a tea, maybe giving him water would help, propping up his head, you know, any, like, medical solutions that would make him more comfortable? Yeah. You don't know much about Kenku. Is it 27 or 8 or whatever? 28, yeah. Is it 28? I feel like I have like a veterinary license at this point. He is also the healer. <laughs> He's the healer at the arena too. So. All right. Uh, you're not sure what was you. You feel like you would have to really examine the what caused the affliction within the body. <laughs> to know that so, so i gotta cut him open pretty much you're an autopsy yeah <laughs> let's just brew him some tea when my throat was scratchy my dad would just brew me some tea and i would drink the tea and then that usually made me sleep we can, um, we can just set the teapot next to providence and it'll heat up on its own <laughs> or i i heard tale of a man liquefying somebody in metal today. Um, Fane's gonna lean over the edge to a window and say, These were in my pocket. They're throat candies. They're a little bit sticky because it's raining, but here you go. <laughs> what are throat candies? They're uh... candies that make your throat better. And where did those come from? My pocket. Where did they come from before that? <laughs> um, from a place. Okay, I need a little bit more than that. Okay, let's give me a history check. <laughs> if you want to know if I stole them, then the answer is I liberated them. Nine. I mean, it's not hard because you've been traveling with her and know that uh, she had, for a while she had a dead mouse in her pocket. So you don't know which pocket they could have been in. Yeah, that's what. That's my main concern. <laughs> Are I'm those gonna dead one. rat pellets? No. <laughs> uh, cream was a mouse, not a rat. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, 
I just like That's... pat Jean on the head. Be like, are you okay, bud? Give a, a thumbs up. Just kind of. Okay. I'm just oh. gonna clumsily like somewhat upside down. Just throw the things in in Jean's general direction. Don't, kind of like don't, tuck don't. him in. <laughs> Has anybody Do seen that. that TikTok meme? Like, it's okay, birdie. I'll take care of you, birdie. <laughs> Faye, give me exactly a constitution right. saving throw. Twelve? No, no, Fane, Fane. Oh, Fane. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. I did not hear that either. Sorry. Yeah. On saving throw. Guys, don't worry. I'm so good at these. I have a plus zero. <laughs> um, I'm going to use one of my D6s. Ooh, I got a seven and a one, so that's eight total. You are now taken on a cold. You have disadvantages on all your ability checks. Yeah, that's fine. Um, when... Providence came down. Did we see like out the window that she was glowing? I thought she's still on the roof, but on the other side of the roof. I, I climbed down. Oh, where'd you climb down to? Uh, it's probably into the open. I just wanted to be away from from Fane, so I'm not hurting her because she's apparently taking more damage to my radiant stuff. Give me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yeah, you definitely would have saw her. Twenty one. You definitely saw her glowing and the steam coming off of her as the rain was hitting her body. Guys, I'm just really hot. And uh, yeah, her, you are. Her, her eyes, her what? 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 Do your eyes glow bright yellow or golden? Golden, golden. The golden glow from her eyes was flashing out, and then eventually she sits, kind of sits down in the like Indian style in the middle of the ground, and then eventually she's. Like she's almost kind of like meditating, and she's able to shrug it off, and she's no longer glowing. Issa right. might have like stepped out to try to help her, and then saw that she's better, and then like okay, and then gone back inside. <laughs> you want to come in now, so you're not getting cold again? I'll 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 come in after first watch. You guys get some rest. I'll I'll wake you up afterwards. Okay. Okay. Glitch, uh, Rusty gives you a natural 20 because he loves an artificer because that's what Sprocket was. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Um, if the... Nat 20. That's huge. If the... If, if she's not glowing and exploding anymore, I'm going to come and like get inside the blanket with her. Yeah, yeah. I'll be shivering a little, probably. We're good. Oh, you can't see the blanket. You can see it above your arm a little bit. Yeah. All right. Who has first watch? Uh, Providence. Uh, Providence and Fane. All right. Uh, give me a perception check. Is this uh, one, one of us gives advantage or where we both roll it? For this, you can give each other advantage because you're both keeping a the lookout. They okay. also have advantage because of the dough. Ah. Yeah. That's true. So you can will... both roll at advantage. So I can roll. Double twos. I can no, do a straight roll instead of a disadvantage roll. I got a seven with advantage. Jesus. Technically, I... with the rain, it is also making it hard. So it would be technically a straight roll, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, but Fane, you what'd you get? Yeah. I rolled a four plus one is five. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we might die on our first watch. <laughs> Ow. It just means that we it, we we don't see nothing coming at us. It's fine. Yeah. No, what's the nothing, problem? Whatever That's comes the during the first watch, guys, come on. Yeah, Fane, Fane, how are you doing? Is your is your back okay? Yeah, it's okay. It feels better now that the arrow's not in it, even though she didn't know how to count to three. But it looked cool. It was in you. Like you looked really tough. Yeah. While you're talking to her, she's coughing too, like every like fourth word or so. I, I want you. Know, can you go inside the 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 cart when we're done with me, just to stay warm? 
Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll give you some healing in the morning, if I can. I thought that water would be nicer now, because apparently I'm amphibious. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. What do you mean? I, I, I can do water stuff now. You mean like you can control the water? Because you could do that before. No, like, like now, if I try to inhale water, I won't die from it. So cool. Did you see that I flew? Yeah, that was cool. I, yeah. I also was there. Oh, you're right, because I picked you up. Um, that wasn't me. That was that was JR, uh, JP. But oh. That was cool. Makes sense that the bird can fly. Made me fly. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to thank him for that. Maybe we can do like some more, more little trips. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything? I don't, I don't see shit. Um... I'm going to start using shape water to make shapes in the rain. I see those. Ah, huh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, she's also going to take her sword out and just start waving it around to make light. Okay. Towards the end of your watch, the rain fades away and the clouds start to part away. And you start seeing this, the the uh, stars again and as it fades away you can see the two horses sitting there that the goblins had dropped back but you guys didn't fucking see so <laughs> I saw shapes in the water it was just shapes that I made <laughs> I mean we, we missed uh, we missed uh, bolts oh, I wanted to make friends with him he could have been an ally we could have had like our own little tiny army too bad he couldn't see. It would have been a tiny army because they're like. Yeah, but do you remember how tough Brother Tinkerpot was? Yeah, he had a fun name. Yeah. So maybe they were like him, like super tough. Hmm. Well, yeah, except maybe... that apparently I almost killed one of them with like one hit. Yeah, well, you're strong. Um, But yeah, maybe in the morning we should like go search for them or something. Because. Hmm. Um, do you want to go in and wake up the others? Um, yes, but then I know I said I'd go in, but it's not raining anymore. But you said you can't break a promise. You're coming in I, with me. You, if you give Don't me make me drag you in. Sleep up top. Come on, Fane. I want you to stay inside. Fine. I'll go in and, and just tap the forehead of our babysitter. Mm. Your turn. I've never been woken up that way before. It was gentle tapping. Your turn. <laughs> Thank you, Fang. Mm. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. That's good for you. Check on him. There's no ancestors to be afraid of tonight, I guess. Mm hmm Oh hey, um um Assam? Uh, they, the the goblins seem to have brought the the horses back, but we didn't see them come in. Oh, They're like super. Bad. I was hoping super sneaky. would stay the night with us. Did yeah, they bring back the cart? Uh, I forgot to look. I I really wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Happens. Yeah, yeah. And in in the morning, can you check on Fane? Um, sure. <laughs> Where, Good night. How... What? Okay. <laughs> he was looking for more detail. Like, check on her how. Like, what are you? <laughs> Provinces is insane. Fane's right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I he'll. Uh, I guess is Kalis awake too, or? I just tapped you on the forehead. Well, yeah, tapped you on the forehead. Yeah. Kalis like, is sort of, not awake. He'll gently, uh, sort of like shake Kalis a little bit. You get no response from Kalis. Oh. Give me a perception Bye. check. Kalis is dead. That's a 11. <laughs> Sorry, hiccups. You swear as you do this, you hear. <sighs> And he rolls over and goes back to sleep. Did I growl? Do I sleep growl? You did. 
but it's so like under under the it was like so under the um like more like loud but Assam, you're not a hundred percent sure that's what you heard, but it sounds very similar. Does he do that often? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, not sure if he should wake him up again. Do you wanna do you wanna try fame or providence? Do you want me to just do watch instead? No, you need your rest, Fane. I'm I'm so awake right now. <laughs> yeah, that's you, you definitely need your rest. No, I can it's been at least an hour, so I can even just heal myself. I mean that's great, but there's no substitute for sleep. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to wake him up and I'm just gonna like get down really low and close ish and just do like a side tackle at him. I can just pick him up and throw him out into the into, into like the open. bear hug roll with him. What are you trying to? What are you trying to do? She just tackled me, but like from a really low stance. So we were we were almost at the same level, and I just like give me a strength check. Seventeen total. I rolled a nineteen. Uh, Kayla's give oh, me. Oh, sorry, one. that's an ability check. I have disadvantage on those yeah, right now. You have disadvantage, and Achilles, you will roll with advantage. Um, actually, I would have said it. this if I had remembered it in advance. Can I use my lucky rock to make it a straight roll? Sure. Thank you. 17. Okay, well, I got a 14, because I rolled a 9. But you're asleep. I guess. Uh, uh, check your, your extras. What is the bonus in that? be a plus four wouldn't it oh no it's only a plus four <laughs> it's like my strength is more as a human <laughs> <laughs> no you're adding you're that on top of your human huh you're you adding that on top of the human in this instance oh well then that would put me i i said what you said 14 so it put you at 18 at 18. So fourteen was one with a human. Yeah. Okay. So okay, eighteen. So eighteen versus what, Fane? Seventeen. Oh. As you try to do this, you hear, <laughs> and he just forces you off, and he rolls back over. I am sleep growling. I got something for you when we were done with watches. I'm just, just gonna scritch his ears a little bit. <laughs> Massage hey, them. Don't them. don't play with his blindfold. No, I'm sorry, not his blindfold. No, no, specifically his ears. His ears are his ears are covered up by his blindfold. I'm not trying to move the blind. I'm over top of the blindfold. I keep my ears like the blindfold goes behind my ears. Oh, it does. Okay, your character yeah, so is a little deceiving then. Who puts a blindfold over their ears? How do you hear? In Canada, keeps warm. Well, yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does it turn to purring if I'm scritching his ears? No. No. Hmm. Do you have any ideas, Providence? I can just pick him up and throw him out. If that's what you think would work, I, you know him better than I do. Not also, like if, this. if I go outside of the dope, the dope goes away. Uh, Isn't the, the dome really like a big? thirty foot radius? Yeah. It's just dumping you out of the cart. Oh, okay. Uh, can I roll strength? Can I help? I'll uh, give guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all fucking with Kayla's right now? <laughs> It's because I want a long rest with him for like seven sessions now. <laughs> <laughs> They're not so letting that's advantage with guidance? It'll be disadvantage. But I got the help action and guidance. I'm getting heavy. And why, do I, why do I get disadvantage on this? I'm a barbarian. All right, like, oh, if they give you a help action, you never have a straight roll. And you got your D4 from Guidance. And, and I Kayla, also just gifted you a D6. 
Oh, I'm gonna need it. That's an 11 plus a d4. Okay, which is a me, one. Give me one with plus a, a d6. Advantage. Which is a two. So that's um, 11, 13, 15. 15. 20. As you try to lift him, he's just like, the fuck? Okay, he's been gaining some weight. We have to start taking away some of his food. You, why? Just leave <laughs> me alone. Is he sick too? He says it like with more of a growl. Just leave me alone. Uh, Isam, I think we should just leave. I Isam. could hold the bed on him and maybe that'll wake him up. That, that'll be on you. <laughs> I am not missing out on this chance to do a long rest with Kayla's. I've been waiting like freaking forever. <laughs> Kalis, <laughs> as you're dreaming, you are going through these deep woods. The moonlight bright shining through the trees. The person that you killed is taunting you. Bring you through the woods. My curse is now your curse. I like to see how you deal with it as much as I did. As you're going through, you look down. You have pause. You look up, fur sprouts from your arms and your body. You can't help but growl. Next thing you know, you're running, charging. You come to a lake, and you see trout flapping. <laughs> And you consume a trout. <laughs> Your fur is nice and brown, black snout. <laughs> and about this time, as people are trying to wake you up, Arnis and uh, uh, Ashley Kalis. Make a bite attack with your sure regular mouth using the stats. You can probably do a disadvantage, actually. Oh, okay, because I rolled a 19. <laughs> and I rolled another 19. So 26 to hit. Uh, what is your unarmed strike? We'll kind of do this. Uh, my unarmed strike? Yeah, like your unarmed strike is, what is it like? A plus eight? No, no, like your damage for it. Oh, six? Six. Uh, Assam, you take... Sits piercing damage from when Kalis turns around and bites you. He doesn't have feints or anything. He's just his normal teeth. And he wakes up and growling and saying, uh, what? Uh, I'm so sorry. He's going to look over to Providence and feign to see their reactions. Are we awake? Yeah, this was like when you guys were trying to wake me up. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be like, biting's what I do. Why are you biting people now? I guess I'm just. You're. Rub it off on me, Fane. Um. Providence. And he's like feeling up his like arms and on his hands, and he's blurring his face. Um. 
It works better if you magic your teeth to make them sharper and more acidy. Cool. Think you left. Right. Mark Want me to show you hand. here? It stop. Stay still. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna make my. I'm gonna use magic biting, but if he pulls away, I won't actually bite. I was like, I'll put my shield in the way. <laughs> oh. Okay. Is this is this normal providence? Oh, no, um, I've, I've never sleep bit. No. Anybody before? I do apologize. I was having a nightmare. Did you? No, he's probably not like my nightmares. Um, what happened? I was running from something. Hey, okay, check. I've done that. Uh, something had a hold of me, and the only way that I could defend myself was with my teeth. Hmm. I understand that feeling. That interesting. Um, I don't know. Um, did this ever I happen when I you were just, younger? I was. I just. I apologize. I am so sorry. That is never. That's not something hungry? I wished you. And did you eat supper? I yeah. Did you eat enough supper? Because you've it's, been. Uh, Maybe it's you watch, if you're hungry, there's a tiefling down it's there. It's watched. It's watch time. Watch time now. Yeah. Here, you're I'll help muted. you feel better, and I'm gonna scratch your ears again. Okay. What? Well, you can stop. Stop that. Babe. Thank you. Now you're better. Thank you. Uh. Why don't I you were acting a little feral? I sorry. No, no, it's it's okay. I mean, you helped me when I was going through some stuff recently. Uh, I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thank mm. you. You some watch. Should we go up top? I was just gonna like sit in the. I mean, I guess we could go up top. I was just gonna like sit me. in the. No, uh, try not to fall. Driver's seat. I don't know what else to call that. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll help you up to the driver's seats with my bloodied hand. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Okay. Did I draw blood? <laughs> you did six points of damage, so I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like missing a pinky. <sighs> you bite harder than most people. Thanks. Have you ever played Dragon Chess, Kalis? Uh, yeah, my father and I used to play that. I have a set. Uh, do you want to play? Yes. Or are you just letting me know that you own a set of dragon chests? Because congratulations, I'm very happy for you. It was a way of offering. Yeah. So he pulls them out um, and he asks you, uh, did you have the light or the dark notched? How were you able to tell the difference between the two? I can tell. I can notch one side if you prefer. I mean, yeah. That would be helpful. Would you rather have the dark or the light? He kind of looks up. It's the rain is gone, right? Like it's not cloudy. I'll take the dark. All right. Which one do you want me to notch, the light or the dark? Notch the dark, that way I know which ones I'm moving. All right. You like pull out his knife and notch the pieces. And like as we're playing. So I felt you in my mind the other day. Yeah. 
Was there something you wanted to ask me? I mean, you were just incredibly new to the equation and seemingly thrust upon us. I was just making sure there was no ill intent. And what did you decide? You don't mean us harm for now. You always play dark. Yeah, it's... I don't know. Representative of how I see the world. As in... You just see darkness. Dark. I'll admit, this is the first time I've ever played light. Speaking of looking into your head, from what Providence and the others have told me, you were addressed very eclectically. And so, you know, speculation on where those divine powers come from. I'm not judging. Something tells me you're not capable of not judging. <laughs> I, I might even incite that. Oh, yeah, you could 100% incite that. Uh, I mean, I only got a 16. Uh, oh, well, I got an 8. Kalis, uh, I want to add something real quick. As the clouds have cleared out and your abilities as you're looking up, you see both moons. Uh, Ashton is the youngest moon, and it is about to be on a new moon the next night. And Candor, the oldest moon, is in its uh, waxing crescent, or crescent, sorry. Okay. He's lying. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I almost didn't need the insight to know that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, he'll nod and he'll say, well, I, it doesn't come from one divinity. I, I use, instead of faith, I rely on invocations. Um, invoking spirits, uh, invoking sometimes gods, using old agreements, new ones, in exchange for certain effects. Some of these are things people have been doing for a very, very long time. And meeting people from various places, I learn the different ways they relate with different spirits, be they primordial, the ancestors, or gods themselves. So, no, my powers don't come from one place. They come from many places. And it's a different kind of relationship than faith. It's more of a loose agreement than dedication. I'm going to use Divine Sense again. Okay. Uh, was it like as you cast it? It's there's no cast, there's nothing. Oh, okay, I just yeah. I open my senses up. I want to see if I can see that blackness behind him that I saw the first time. You do. What's that? What are you talking about? There's. There's this blackness 
about you, and I'm not saying, once again, not judging. Um, uh, but my, yes. I'm going to DM also what you see, because I won't okay. want you to know it, because you can only see it, so. Oh, okay. I'm going to send it to you in Zoom. those peeps away. You can still continue. Yeah. You sure there's not a singular driving force behind that power of yours? Absolutely. You don't feel that? Feel what? Never mind. You're playing black, Kalis. Do you always just assume that because something's dark, it's wrong or evil? No. I, I live my life in darkness. The stars shine light into what needs to be seen. And they guide our path through darkness. Oh, darkness doesn't always have to be evil or bad, but I do aim to shine light through it. And how do you know that light makes the world a better place any more than darkness? Maybe the world needs both light and darkness. I mean, one wouldn't exist without the other. When you play Dragon Chess, does the light move their pawns any differently than the dark? The player moves differently. And if you cared for your pawns, would they be more likely to survive or less? Don't both sides play the game exactly the same? The rules are the same. But how the game is played? That depends on the person. Maybe it's not a choice if you want to win. Maybe the game itself is what's evil. I trust you. I, I'm not saying that I don't. You've proven yourself several times. But I still don't know you. You're still a darkness that I have not been able to shine a light upon, and that will just take time. Sometimes the darkness should stay dark, Kalos. You don't need to know everything. Uh, as you guys are having this conversation, you hear like almost like somebody's leaning like leaning up against the side of the carriage trying to listen to you and then <laughs> slips a little bit. Who's there? Damn it. <laughs> Is that you, old lady? Rude. Damn, with okay. Age, with age comes wisdom, I would ask. It's a compliment. You say that now. Do you want to join us? I'm awake. I have been this whole time. Get up here. All right. All right, scooch over. As y'all climb up there, people give me some reception chats, please. I'm just I'm doing listening. Guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 21? Okay. 23. Uh, 17 plus 8 is... You get advantage. 25. Oh, 25. Okay. Oh, shit. Another okay. one. Because okay. of the dome, you both get advantage. Well, yeah, I got the same. nothing's better. Yeah, <laughs> I got 21 25 again. is the high one. Yeah. <laughs> I get 221, so... Yeah, continue. So... 
Speaking of light in the darkness, are you ever going to explain this? He like holds up his hand that's like, it's like sort of like loosely bandaged. Wait, explain. I mean, sure. Full disclosure, I'm a little worried that something may have happened to me during my fight uh, for the champion or whatever. Um, I fought this guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Dimitri dude, right? Yeah, uh, he turned into a bear. Oh, yeah. Um, but not like how you turn into animals. Like, he turned into a bear. Oh. Um, and I got a little sloppy. And sloppy. he bit me. He bit me. He bit you? And things have been a little off. You have been growing then. in your sleep. Apparently, and I bit you saw him. Yeah, I saw that. That that was a bit um vicious. Even for you. I'm... I can see that from Fane, not from you. What if I turn into a bear? Well, then we'll handle it when it comes. I don't know. I've never seen this before. Until we know more about this, can we just not tell Fane? That's... yeah, that might be best. I just feel like she would get way too excited about it. it I don't think this is something I want to be excited about. You know, I... I can cast a spell that removes curses. I don't know if that's helpful or not. He just like puts his hands up. I I don't. No. On the other hand, maybe with time it can be something you can enjoy. That's a part of you. Maybe it's punishment for taking a life that I shouldn't have taken. Do you really think this came from the gods? No, I'm thinking of, this is more of... Karmic. Karmic. If, if it came from the gods, really... died. If karma really existed, then there would be no kings. If it becomes a problem, we might search for a way out. Well, just let me know if you want me to prepare that spell sometime. Okay. And I can. Do you have experience with this kind of thing, Arwenus? That kind? Not really, no. Mine comes from a god, or genie, technically, right now. She. I'm I sorry. Gift. Oops. Your power comes from a genie? Yeah, the technicalities, yes. Like from the stories? Mm-hmm. Your transformations come from a genie as well? Yeah, it's part of her power. At least for me, everyone's different. How did you... <laughs> how did you meet her? Um, I technically have not. She came to me in my dreams. And she's a, a free tea. A free tea, sorry. Genie. 
All I know was I needed to break her chains, and that's it. And she gave me this power. Power because um, you broke her chains, or power or to break to, her chains? To okay. break her okay. chains. Okay. So does Yisam know that Ifriti are often pretty evil? Would that be Arcana? Hey, what History? are we talking about? Ifriti? I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> it's a, it's a fire genie and oh, okay, got it. E evil ones, yeah. Uh, give me a history check or religion. Oh, I could do religion. Ooh, religion. For the win. 15. Mine's religion. a 19. Ooh. <laughs> so this is, this is the new world. Uh, you know, there's all different types of genies. They have different reasonings, different meanings. And that's not, ne not necessarily mean they're evil, but they could. But genies in our world work a little bit different. Depends on the moral co moral moral code, I guess you could say. Or that's fascinating. Most I've shared with anybody for a while about anything that's happened to me. In Death Valley, the spirits of air, spirits of fire are often revered. Good to know. Maybe one day I'll visit it. One thing for sure is I am not going back under. Back under? Underground. There. Under there. Hmm. No. Only if seen... there's rescue them, but we're not powerful enough yet. Not enough allies. To the whole city of Grey Chester, sure, sure. Greychester? Greychester? Greychester, 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 Greychester Bay? <laughs> yeah. I always want to say Worcestershire. Wor 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 <laughs> Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> Greychestershire sauce. Greychestershire. That's the kind they have there. Mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy my time there either. How did you end up there? My village got raided. Just here. <laughs> Sorry, Grinch. I just saw Faye. No, Faye. <laughs> you never actually said how long you were down there, either, when we talked last. Dugan, how long was I down there? <laughs> Come on now. <sighs> I've been there for... Yeah, I think you were there for about a couple of weeks before they got there. Yeah, but before Arwenis got there or before Kalis got there? Uh, before the Kalis and all them, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got there about a month ago, maybe maybe two. It's hard to keep a track month? of time. So recently, um, not to. Pry. But when your village was raided, there wasn't a multi headed monster there, was there? I don't think so. No, I would say no, Jugan, right? No. It was a raids happen often in that where I live. It's not the first time our, our village has been attacked. Um, and I couldn't even tell you exactly who it was. I just know that they raised the village again, and I 
went along hoping to keep someone I cared about safe. <laughs> now you're with us. Now I'm with you. The Livingsters wanted me to eventually replace their healer, but Honestly, I was hoping to make enough money to get back and be able to serve the people that I lived with better. Even without the raids, it's hard there. And the people that come to me usually are the ones that can't get help anywhere else. Very little means. About this time, the horses that were dropped off kind of wandered over, eating grass further away. Oh, is the cart gone? They took the cart and bodies. They just brought back the horses. That was the deal. We, they were supposed to bring back the cart. But we that never was... mentioned it. We did mention the cart once. We just didn't mention it every time. Yeah, the cart was mentioned. They didn't bring back the cart. They just brought back the horses. Because right, what are we going to do with two horses? I'll yeah. get the horses. You guys head to bed soon, since it seems like watch is almost over. For you two. Uh, as, with your perception checks, as the horses went over there, uh, Kalis, you hear almost kind of like, <laughs> and as you look over, there is six mounds of grass, weeds. The horses are not there. Let's go figure out what happened to the horses. Like, did what they do fall? You mean? Did... Huh? Oh. Something out there, isn't there? Probably the know. goblins. We can hold? Let's go look. Uh, fine. As you start heading that way, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. I need to go get me a drink and use the bathroom. So, wait for a nice little break. And I think we got one. So, we'll be back, guys. So, uh, Stand by. We take about a fiver, and then we we'll be right back, and then uh, we'll wrap up the session here. And welcome back. Sorry, guys. Uh, I needed to get that done, but you know, I didn't want to interrupt the great uh, social interactions that we're having. As you go head towards where the horses were, those six mounds are moving away from you, further and further away. And as you get close about where the horses were, you find like a horse leg. Bloody. What do y'all do? Wait. Hey. What is happening? Uh, there's a horse leg on the floor, and six mounds are going far in the distance. We lost the cart and we lost the horses, so it's gonna make it very difficult for us to get anywhere now. I don't know whether uh, it's we have the giant ass the carriage are that we, we have it? to send oh. Oh. back. Or I, I guess we can put keep a, it. We could keep it, but then then we'll put a giant. Mark on us for having a black. We're already gonna have a giant. Okay, we're already gonna have a giant mark on us if we leave without even sending that just back in itself. Okay, that is not the time to discuss that. Right now, the horses are gone. We just have a leg, and there's something huge in the distance, and I'm not sure I want to find out tonight. I'm I'm completely rest. You all, I don't are not. And I'm worried I'll about John. you guys' lead on what you'd like to do. Uh, so, 
something ate our horses? Well, yes. the two that were left over, yeah, from the other cart. Well, that's not good. Nope. Is it going to come back and eat the other horses? Well, they're invisible right now, so we're, they're fine. With us. But I don't know about anything else. Right? We're still invisible? Okay, let's... Yeah. Oh. Are we no, are we no, y'all... Y'all... Nope. We're not. You, If you we're are with not. them, uh, you left a dome and the dome oh. is gone. You totally so. forgot about it, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, when you put a graboid situation, I'm going to go look at it. <laughs> You gonna go look at it? Really? You gonna look at it? <laughs> Shut. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so shoot. Let's go back and make sure uh -huh. that those horses don't get sucked into the ground. Yeah, you two need rest, and uh, I either wake Frederick or glitch up. Frederick? We still have him. Oh, the Sir yeah. Frederick, the strong dude we got just saved. What? Kaylin! Forgot about him again. Would you guys like me to make Lehman's tiny hut outside? No. Maybe okay. just around the horses? I don't know if the horses can fit inside or not. Let me see. And there's only four of them, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, because that's four large creatures. Yeah, I don't think large creatures can go inside, but let me double check. No, it says only medium or smaller. Okay. Yeah, if they're large, it doesn't work. Yeah. Well, keep an eye on the horsies. Yep. I am going back to bed, and hopefully I don't bite anybody. All right, who's doing yeah, the last watch? Don't... Yeah. I'm going to try to see if Glitch will wake up and kind of nudge him like, Glitch! Glitch! Yes? Gonna do the watch, last watch with me? Yes and no. <laughs> Come on, Lazy Bones! <laughs> and you wonder why I call you Lazy Bones! Come on! That's all. I'm out. <sighs> okay. Rubbing his eyes. <sighs> we got to see something. Okay, let's go to sleep. I'll tell him <laughs> kind of what happened. All right. All right. Uh, All right. Switch. Yes. So we just saw six mounds heading away from us. The horses that were left by Bolts is now gone and dead. And because Kalis uh, walked with us to go check it out, the 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 the, the bubble's gone. Yeah, we're no longer invisible. We'll just. Oh. Yeah. Well, just have to pay. It. Extra attention then. Mm hmm. And. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's have a look at. Quick look where the horses were taken. All there's left was leg. I don't care about that part. I'm looking at the ground. Okay. What kind of ground is it? Just field. Uh, Remember what this tunnel was made of? Dirt, rock, but we're in the grassy field around the corner. Maybe moving inside a cave that's rocky would be better if things are coming out of the ground. Mm. Oh, 
everyone's asleep and you don't want to wake them up, but they need the rest. Especially John. He looks bad. Well, then we need to pay attention. Mm -hmm. we need to, I guess we shouldn't turn on any lights, no. Mm -mm, no. Yes. Even though I had very pretty dancing lights, I don't think that's a good idea. No. Oh. gonna tinker and play around with stuff now I can once again can't <laughs> uh, give me a perception chat she too okay. yeah oh this one mm. I'm tired I have, I have no idea I'm nine twelve <laughs> that's bad yeah uh. I don't see anything new. It's not what you see, it's what you uh -oh. hear. Yeah, that's what I was... <laughs> that's even worse. You hear flapping. No. No, 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 what do her elf eyes see? You don't see anything, but you definitely hear it very far off, and it just sounds like a massive, massive. Give me a survival check. That I got okay. some, uh, 24. It's a flock of birds. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Uh, Glitch, you not so much, but the sound is very, very, sounds like an ancient dragon of some sort off in the distance flying. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I do not like the sound of that. Um, Glitch is moving the cart into the cave. <laughs> Yeah, do that because that sounds like a giant but ass you, dragon. You heard it, but it's very, okay. very, far very, away. very far away. And you don't fine, see glitch. it. I think we're fine, Glitch. Because it sounds far off, but it sounded big. Pretty sure they can glide. <laughs> well, we would hear Silent. the clapping wings again. And we don't hear anything anymore. It'll be on top of us next time. <laughs> Eventually, you don't hear it anymore as it fades away. See? We're okay ish. And I definitely don't want to face that. Ever. <sighs> that is no. Hide. We've got <laughs> things coming out of the ground. We got some dragon above us somewhere. Are you sure the 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 horses got something by from underground, or could it have been from that? Said there's dirt mounds moving away. I don't know if it was dirt mounds. It was just six mounds. I'm not sure what it was. We saw it in the distance. You can extrapolate that the mounds were something like a creature taking stuff from above. Uh -uh. Just move it slowly inside. No, if we move this, we're going to jolt everyone else awake. We should just leave it for now. And I do not want to see Providence mad. I'm good. You can see her dad. 
They're safe inside. Things disappearing and flying away. We should have time to relax. Hopefully. Before they get here. Before anything gets here. As long as we keep a better eye out this time. This is... Twitch will stand on top and guard. <laughs> Just a stupid idea. <laughs> Mumbling to himself. Mm -hmm. Spends uh -huh. the rest of being quiet and listening. It's trying to see anything. Oh, and it's going to grumble to herself. Freaking lazy bones. Talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, your watch goes without issue. It is morning, so everybody can take your long rest. The ground is a little soaked and muddy from the night's rain. That's how the weather is today. And it's nice and sunny out as the morning. Well, it will be nice and sunny as the morning dawn. But the sun is coming up. What would you like to do? Before my morning prayers and my morning kata, I'm going to go check on the bird boy. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you go to Jean. Yep. Jean's or John's eyes are completely green and cus crusted over. Gross. I'm using lay on hand. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't know that, but I usually lay on hands. Okay. To uh, using. What does it look like when you do lay on hands? It's the same kind of like white light that comes down from the stars when I use all of my magic, really. But it's coming from within me instead of external. Okay. And it just goes out into him and then I would say there's probably a constellation of a bird uh, somewhere in, a, in the sky and I would know that and then that would briefly flash like across his former head before as it flashed through the crust kind of cuts off visibly also if you could see Visibly, the throat is so thick and it kind of gradually swells out. And John, you start coughing <coughs> as everything's loosening up and all the phlegm and shit. You cough up with this green slime that comes out of your mouth, but you are now able to talk again as you feel a lot better. Fane, you still have a cold. I, I take it. I take a deep breath after almost dying of anaphylaxis. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> Let's... Okay, that Sounds works. like they're awake. <laughs> uh, he he could have like pats your head. I'm glad you're alive, and <laughs> I'll be over here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I'm going to draw a card and and make it I'm I'm going to draw a card and cast a spell and after if, if it works I'm going to let you know what it is. I can message you Jurgen if you need to know in advance. Yes, I think I need to know in advance. <clears throat> uh as Prue is waking up, she's going to just kind of look at pain and just see if she's like breathing any better. No. No, she's not. Uh, she'll uh, kind of oh. Like not... Uh oh, I think it's a curse card. Oh. It it would be if we were using experience, but I can't lose XP. Do you want me to just draw a different one? I thought I thought I told you to take those out. I don't uh, you may have. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Cool as that would be, I don't need a ghost following me around everywhere. Um, what is it? It's the Phantom card. It's literally just 
it becomes an unkillable specter that just follows me. That Sweet. is a curse card. It's not a curse card. That's just a neutral. It doesn't do anything bad. Are you sure? I have a ghost following me now, and I'm going to draw a card because I want to cast this spell. Become haunted. <laughs> uh -oh. um, so I guess a ghost of something appears near me and is just kind of there. Can we see this? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hmm. That's, yeah, no, that's... It's not bad card. This one just changes my alignment. Is that a is that a curse? What is it? Um, it change it just change. It's called balance. It changes my alignment. <laughs> yeah, what's your alignment? Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah that's. It's a very good question. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. That that one's fine because you're trying to cast a spell. So yeah, that one is fine. That's not okay. a bad card. It just it would cool. change your alignment, but it's not. Cool. Alrighty. Um, but you can yeah. discard. You can discard the other card. Yep. You now have a spectral following you around. Yeah, it's just unkillable and follows me everywhere. Um, yeah, hey guys, guys. Next time we come to a big thing of water today, you should all stick your heads in and try to breathe, cause cause you can breathe now. We're immune to dying by water. Is that one of your ancestors? Nope. Is that somebody's ancestor? Nope. I don't know that person. Does it talk or is it just... The card comes to life as an unkillable, implacable specter. It will follow you wherever you go and may pass through walls in order to do so. All right. It's just there forever. Steps, Robin steps out of bed and she immediately draws her sword. It immediately starts to glow and she's going to <laughs> poke at the spirit. No. Bane? Yeah. What is that? That's that's um that's Jenny. Yeah, it can't speak. She like swishes the sword back and forth. I think I it, it most definitely looks like an ancestor to me. It's I definitely just somebody's poke ancestor. A... Maybe just... how do you know if it had kids? Maybe it didn't. Maybe it chose a life of of virgin lameness. It could still be ancestors in the general sense. Those that came before. So Providence, you're trying That's to poke at it? Absolutely. It looks, it's, look, it's falling faint around as you try to poke at it. Um, as soon as I... I what was that noise? I'm gonna put uh, or when it's just gonna poke her head in. Like, what the hell is going? Oh. As, as wow. soon as I realize that it's following me, I'm just gonna get the biggest grin and just start like running around to try to grab it. at it. I'm just I'm just running around. I'll leave the the cart and just be like jumping, like bear hugging yeah. Arwenus to see if it comes up really close, and then jumping off and running. You talking about He's the specter? Yeah. As you try to, it fades through it and reappears behind you. Yeah. And what is this? What is what is going on? Uh, want to ask that same question? What the hell is going on out here? It, here. it looks like a, a double standard is going on. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I have a new pet. I don't know so, what it does. This looks like it does a double standard about about uh. About ancestors. That's. I don't think it's an ancestor. I think it never it's, had kids. It's, this is the literal definition of an ancestor. Nah. -uh. That's it. That's what but it if is. If they never had it. kids, ancestors specifically have to have people come after them that were their kids just, or grandkids. To be his brother's kids. That's an ancestor. No. You can be an uncle and have no kids. Does it look like Same an orc? <laughs> Nope. I'll give. I'll show you what it looks like. Descendants are fine. Ancestors are not. Same thing. They are. They are the opposite is, thing. Yeah. But this is. Exactly just gonna what I'm walk away. With the double standard. 
like that's the double standard right there uh, it was just performing two different things and i, I didn't put it in do discord that. oh an actual Guys. specter oh that's creepy i don't like that um couple <laughs> things happened last yeah. night hmm? um Ooh. john i'm glad you're looking you're feeling better right you're looking better I'm feeling and yes, I'm feeling better. Thank you Sweet, for asking. Sweet, you can talk. Okay, awesome. Uh, Fane still has a cold, though, it looks like. Uh, Isam, can you check on her cold? Uh, sure. Do you want me to do a medicine check? I, I, I thought you could do, like, some, some magic-y stuff. Like... Oh, oh, I have a There's... thing. I can fix, I can fix. How did she get the specter? Flying. Yeah. I, I think she was pulling from the cards. Maybe we should wait on that after I say what I have to say. I I didn't I didn't pull any of the cards, she did. I know. Fain, can we wait? But I have a thing that can make my yes. cold better. Isam, help. You're hard. Help. I'm ta talk your talk your thing. Okay, um, besides the mounds we saw last night with the missing horses, dead, um, Glitch and I... Uh, Wait, you um, killed the horses? Wait, no. the horses are gone? Two of them. The Why did you kill the both, horses? We didn't kill the horses. Okay. Something else killed the horses. It was. Like, what the it, fuck it, is that? What the fuck is what? So Frederick walks out of the carriage and sees that. <laughs> Oh god, I forgot you were here what? again. <laughs> it's fine, you can't see me, it's fine. What the fuck is that? I'm, I'm calling turn around and look. Then. You're looking what? he's talking about the specter. Oh the specter, okay. Oh. Yeah. D d we'll get to that in a sec. Um we Me in are... a second. Do you wanna hear about the freaking giant ancient dragon or not? The what? The what yeah. dragons? Yeah. yeah, this was a giant ancient dragon. We heard it in the sky flapping, and it sounded huge. It went away from us, but it 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 was not good. David, see it? It was not good. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it, and it's not good. After the last dragon battle, this is if we could barely fight a young dragon. I do not want to see what we could go against an ancient. Hell no. I kind of want to fight an ancient dragon now. We could, we oh, we could have yeah, beaten another dragon. I don't think we're strong enough for that. I'm just, we, I'm just gonna say uh, that yeah. right now. Thank you, Kalis. We could have beaten it, and then we would have two dragons that we've beaten. We have even the first, one. What's the, what's the first dragon that you beat, Fane? Um. Okay. Hear me out. It's still in captivity, and we're out here. Who's the real winner right now? She had the point. Who won the battle that you were in? Oh, the battle? Oh, it, it only won because it was too much of a coward to face Prue. It did face Prue. No, it didn't. Uh, it, yes. it kept running away from her, from what I recall. Okay, okay. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. I'm not getting into the argument. But to answer your question, I have no idea on the, the stupid phantom thing, Frederick. It, 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 she did something and it just appeared. But yeah, she that's... did what? I'm just I did magic. Faye. Oh, here, let me show you. I can no, do no, it no, again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not right now. We have enough on our plate to deal with. Later. I can make my <laughs> So, where are we? Go away. So what was that sound? That was that was supposed to be the specter. Uh, I thought it was your stomach. No, it's supposed to be a specter. It's supposed to be creepy, damn it. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, James' stomach is really creepy, so it could have been both. Hey. Haven't eaten breakfast yet. Need to get rid of the cart. And let him leave. Yeah, can you make a zombie now? I can. Um, do you still want to do that now that we're going to be in the middle of the wilderness with no transportation? 
I mean, isn't there a down right over there? Okay. Um, Jean-Pierre, did you want to write a letter explaining the situation? Uh, you said you wanted to send it to the living stairs or to the woodwells. We could send to the living stairs and say that this is what we found in the cart since they didn't know what was going to be in it. Or just uh, say, see you later, suckers. Can we say we're going to come back and kill you? No. no. That's a bit rude. Just send the cart back. Yeah, just send the cart back. Yeah, just the cart back. I don't need a note. Just go. I'd really like to go back and rescue everybody in that encampment. We're not but ready for we that can't yet. do well, that. Well, we're right not going now. to say Craven? This is what I'm saying. I thought we agreed that we were going to say Craven. Yeah, eventually. Yes. But, like. So, we're going to do that no. right now. That's what I thought that was the plan. You know, I'm not usually the one to say this, but it doesn't really work that way. Um, He's there's a lot of them him. and not a lot of us. So we just like to find some... mm-hmm. Like stronger. even even with like I, I I mean you seem pretty strong, but like with one with the seven of us, we couldn't really handle a lot of things as much as I hate to admit that. Yet. Yes. Also, he also has those magical gauntlets which dulls his powers. So, we don't have anyone sneaky enough to go in now to do that. Yeah, I'll do it. Clank. No. Clank. 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 Yeah. Clank. No. I failed mine last <laughs> night. You definitely gonna fail yours. So, let's not. Maybe with the resources of the Order of the Goblet, we can come up with a plan. Oh, now you're for it? Well, I don't want to join them. I'm just saying together we can work on a plan to get Craven together. To get Craven out. I was always for that. Where's the nearest little cluster of your friends? We have a location in every town. So over there. So that town right there, and I am pointing in the wrong direction. direction. (laughs) I'm gonna gonna just grab your arm and start walking with it. Yep. Yep. (laughs) That town right there. (laughs) And then just give you a nice little pat. So, what do you want to do with this cut? We're sending it back. As a statement. How are you sending it back? Or maybe we shouldn't send it back and we just make them think that we're all dead. I mean, how likely is that? Nothing kills me yet. We could do like a... We're also immune. Or we could have like Isam or like write a letter being like we... Like like a, like a final last words type thing. Again, who is sending this letter? The the the, zombie. the zombie that Isam is going to make. So I raise the zombie. The zombie delivers the cart to the living. You as I don't know. That's why we kept a single body. <laughs> you, you, you're you're assuming a zombie is smart enough to drive a car to a two yeah. smart enough to know where they go. Yes. Three. Well, you could have brought this so, up when we mentioned it last session. Yeah, we seriously spent thirty-five minutes <laughs> yes. talking about how we were going to raise a zombie to do this. Yeah, you no, you said you're going to raise a zombie, but you also said you're also going back. You told me that you're going to go back with them to save Craven. No, that is not. No, that is not. That is not. That, that, is, not, that, that, that is, is not, not the conversation that happened at all. I remember yeah. explicitly mentioning not the being zomb- able to do that yet. Because we are not strong enough. <laughs> and there's no point of raising a zombie to deliver the cart if we're going to be on the cart. So... <laughs> I mean, I figured as a player, you would know like the intelligence of a zombie. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're telling you what to, to do. To drive a cart, yeah. I, I it says you have an is... undead servant. That understands simple task. Right? Yeah, as simple. That's a simple task. You're yeah, drive this straight. 
And like, we're not like we're telling it's a cast of magic or anything. That's a different yeah. thing. Well, just and follow, honestly, just part, of the the part, of, part of the conversation was that after a certain amount of time, it was we were no longer going to have control over it. And yeah, it was, and it was just going to start driving range. anywhere. So. It has 24 hours that it's under my control, and then it starts murdering everyone. So, <laughs> honestly, what's if it the range of the your road, control? Yeah, there's no range on it. It's just 24 hours. So after 24 hours, it becomes just a wild zombie that does whatever zombies do. Grown. Like what spell is that? Sleep. Animate dead. I'm not selected my spells for the day yet, but yeah, that's animates dead. Yeah, zombies are meatheads, skellies are boneheads. <laughs> yeah, so he'll have, have the muscle memory. It's a... <laughs> That's not... <laughs> That's not how I remember that conversation going at all. I remember you talking about... That is exactly... Zombie. That is exactly it, how the conversation exactly went. Exactly what went like. That is 100% what like went For like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's... How did you miss that? Like maybe 10 minutes of... Because he definitely I, like, said, if y'all weren't going to help him, he was going. And then y'all said, okay, we'll go with you. Yeah. That's what I... No, we said we're going to help him, but we're... My understanding was that he was going to try to rally... The order of the goblets to rescue craven yeah we, the end of the conversation was him saying let's go in fane said you guys are joining us and everyone was like well not yet but we'll go elsewhere to like join or or meet up with the order of the goblin and he's like no i'm going to rescue craven but our group was like we can't do that right now mm -hmm. so let me ask you this sir Doesn't... honorable what is your plan to rescue craven so low, basically. No, I just. No, oh, sorry. What what you got? What you got cooking up there? We need if if you telling he's in dire straits, do we have the time to waste? This man is treated very well for a slave. Just letting you know. Didn't you tell him? Didn't you tell him uh, that he is in a tournament? And you told he's him the about champion. Yeah, I know. I know. Did you tell him about the, the stone hand guy and all that stuff that he might be fighting? I mean, I don't think I've... we said anything about stone hand. I don't remember saying anything about stone hand. Nope. And I don't we think we got the that. impression that that stone hand was a threat to him either, necessarily. While we, we I, yeah, he kind of like told us that he was the baddest badass to ever badass. Mm -hmm. okay. And he was so cocky, <laughs> we just took it on face value. Okay. But also, I do? just... Mr. The Honorable, you can go back. You can try and say, Craven, you are going to die. And Craven will be lost. Or you can come with us. What about the changeling that went to take your place? Take my place. You yeah, you told thing. us a changeling was going to take your place, and they were going to try and kill your boss. The changeling that was here with us? You're the one that told us that. You you literally said you got kidnapped so somebody could take your place. Yes, the change. The changeling that was here with... Did you not see them? No. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Oh, Galus. <laughs> it doesn't get old. <laughs> You're ready for years of this. <laughs> oh my god. I'll have to give you sight at some point. Because <laughs> I'm sick of this shit already. <laughs> <clears throat> now the one that was with the with them was going to take my place but now that you're asking me i don't see that really happening why wouldn't it if you rush in and you become that prisoner again we're dead you're just gonna die we need to regroup before we just go back down there 
Did you said it yourself when people be chasing you if you leave? Not if we leave Nick. really fast. The idea was that we could send the cart back with a letter saying that this is what we found in the cart. We look forward to future collaboration. That's where we left it. <laughs> Nobody wanted to physically go first. Jean-Pierre and I proposed to go, and then everyone's like, no, don't do that. Don't split the party. And then we were like, I could raise a zombie, and the zombie could go in our set. And then we discussed that for like 30 minutes. So a zombie above table has a three intelligence. Which yeah. is higher than Mr. Honorable. <laughs> so... <laughs> what? <laughs> because the only other way is, well, not the only other way. We could just walk back down there. Or we could go back with the cart and you in the cart and you become a slave as well. I'll do whatever you want to do, I guess, but we've been looking for Craven for years, and you just told me that he is... You told us that you stopped looking for him because you thought he was dead. Also, you're saying we, so that means... There are more of you. You don't have to do it by yourself. Go get the more of you. <laughs> <laughs> and then also get a, get a promotion for being the one who found him. Oh, we can also get the goblin. So you were to have a war. war we want war. to have a war, but you okay. want to have a go in and die. We actually don't want to have a war. That's actually kind of bad. I think it'd be kind of funny, but like, you know. So you were to sacrifice hundreds, perhaps no. thousands in a war. Or we can. No worries. We'll just go in and win. But not right now because we're not strong enough. Something, Mr. Something. The Honorable, what do you think we should do? Get him out. Now. How? How? <laughs> There's any number of ways. You want me to play this game and you sit back and not come up with this decision. <laughs> so, the, we can, he's a slave. Slaves can be bought. They can sneak around, bust them out. You said he lives in his no. own place. What if Do you have any money? To your other people and got the money to buy him. Yeah. Can we just borrow like a huge amount of money and buy him? We have none. Yeah. Do you not have like a cache of gold? Or like a little bank that your goblet, you could just like take your goblet and get more money. He probably costs a lot because he's champion. Yeah, it's going to probably cost more than what we have oh, on our deck. So then we just, we go in, we find somebody that has the key, punch them in the face, take the key. Does 300 platinum work? I, I genuinely have no concept of money, so I'm going to say yes. It's a possibility, but... <sighs> that is quite a bit of money. But we don't know the Sorry, pricing, no Dan. Mm. Oh. You don't know the price. Uh, so you gotta talk to. We're gonna have to like pose you as an evil a bad buyer. man. Yeah. But Mr. you're, you're the pretty... evil honorable. It also doesn't help that his armor has a giant goblet on it. Does it? Yes, sorry, Kalis. I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm explaining it <laughs> on Sorry, Kalis. Bad habit. Explain how his armor looks and everything for him. Here, Kalis, I'm just going to grab your hands and go <laughs> on his chest and rub them around the, the goblet. Let's not Can do you that. please stop that's doing that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. That's... That's... <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm sure that we can fix that wait john can you use that illusion on him instead of yourself as well sadly no that's only okay. a me thing well we could have you change and be the buyer 
Yes, our poor bird friend died of the bird flu. Could you be an evil slave owner? Hmm. And less piratey? I haven't tried slavery yet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a bad idea. I'll consider it. He's How slow. far away is the town? Are you asking above table or is Kalis asking? I'm asking is Kalis. Oh, you're asking the rest of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's like maybe a couple days. Although we have horses now, so if we don't give the, all of the horses back. Can we see it? Yeah. Stop it. I think I think right. a couple of sessions ago we were told it's like a two day walk. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a two day walk, two or three days, depending on how fast you want to move. Because you can see like the outline. Yeah, the city outline, yeah, like the Caroline. Like the cityscape. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, Skyline. The there we go. Jesus, Skyline. Okay. There you go, I see. Okay, well, uh, we've already been out here for days. Uh, Two days. Yes, and some. This is the second night that we've spent day. under the stars. Yes. One day, and now it's the morning of the second day. Yeah, we oh, gotta go actually, back yeah. soon. We do gotta go back, otherwise... It's gonna get suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, fuck. So are we going back to the Livingsters? And then he's going to sneak in as an evil slaver or trader man? And we're going to be like, hey, we have we found the cart. Sorry, it's empty. Well, besides so just the to paintings. be clear, you're not letting us send back the zombie. Oh, you can say about the zombie, but I cannot guarantee the outcome. <laughs> so, guys, what if we still send the zombie in, but we also write something on the side of the cart that says the Livingsters say thank you because it's our birthday? Um, and then at least everyone still knows it's a birthday gift to them. Uh, we'll keep that in our minds, day for sure. Because the whole thing was that they wanted everyone to know, right? And then we're just going to sneak back in. Why are we sneaking back in? To get Craven. I figure we should still wait on that plan. Back in. Okay, so then we're going to East Haven. East Haven's fun. Yes. Yep. <laughs> just send a damn cart. But that's the plan. <laughs> All right. It's in the cart. Why would we want to go back to where we were? We Nobody don't. liked it there. We don't. <laughs> Glad, we're oh. agree Glad we're all agreeing on that. Uh, okay. We will find another way. I'm almost not even concerned about where the cart goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Julian's going to have some writing to do. Yeah. Just so you know what I have planned is still happening. <clears throat> you made your choices. Oh. All right. <clears throat> As y'all pack up the car. It wasn't really a choice. We had a plan yeah. and then you're like, hey, that plan doesn't work. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, you don't please don't punish us because you told us well, we can do whatever we want and then and Oh, then I'm not punish you at all. <laughs> that, that was still happening. You were just going to discover it. Now you're not, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the world cool. still exists without the us. The world still happens. That's the thing. Just like it doesn't stop. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Thing happens without us. We understand that. That's how life works. Uh, We're going to East Haven. Yeah. So the idea and, was. And... All right. So next week would be seven thirty. <clears throat> uh, we'll figure out uh, what you, uh, what these players are going to do with the cart. If they're going to take the cart. If they're going to do the whole zombie with the cart. Um, yeah, and, uh, see what they go from there. Uh, so 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, that's my bad. I thought all I could remember was that you were talking about raising a zombie, and I thought y'all bring the zombie back. I just thought it was a cool thing that y'all wanted to do. <laughs> I really thought it was. I realized. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely told you that a zombie has an intelligence of three. It's not that bright. So you can understand simple tasks, but and that's that's also trying to figure out if it even gets stopped before it gets to the city too. So it is a zombie driving a cart, so it might get stopped before it gets to the city. So. But it, it's a fresh zombie. And Jean Pierre has a disguise kit. Mm-hmm. It's like makeup. You can look really beautiful. I don't think that will help if there's a like a post check or a, a inspection of the vehicle before it enters. You know. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so JR, when are you live again? <clears throat> Tomorrow. And again, sorry for being irritable today, everybody. I apologize. Um, tomorrow, uh, I'm doing Maiden's Mayhem, and it's going to be at, uh, I think it's 9, we play? I don't remember. It was like 9, 8, something like that, Eastern Time. Uh, come check us out, we are getting near the finale. Then again, uh, doing Bova on Sunday. And every other Saturday for Hot Week, and ultimately too. Alright. And Orinus. I have no idea when I'll be streaming again. I have no idea when I'll be streaming again. Uh, it's up in the air until I can figure out a better schedule or something right now. So, we'll see. Alright. That being said, uh, the next time we're live on the channel, uh, if I don't do any painting tomorrow, I won't be actually doing painting tomorrow because I'll be at the range all day. So, next time we're live on the channel will be our evil day. On Wednesdays for our evil run of Boulder's Gate 3. And I'll probably do some painting before then. Uh, we'll kind of roll right into that probably because I got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, <clears throat> and then Thursday night will be Dragonlance for the next two weeks because of scheduling stuff. So be sure you tune in for that. Uh, Weasel, our friend here, is doing uh, some giveaways in the Discord. So exclamation point Discord if you want to join the Discord. And I think that about covers everything um you guys were playing and you guys remember if you think you're immortal from death just remember we don't think it works that way that's not right. how that works that's not how that works so <laughs> have a good night we'll get it right i like it though that's a good tagline I feel